I, l- I love the premise of the show. Smart people talking about dumb shit. I think it's dumb people talking about smart, smart shit. Oh, we go where we not supposed to go, baby. The Yep, Charlemagne the God. Andrew Show. We are the Brilliant Idiots Podcast, and this week's episode is brought to you by Squarespace from what oh, you already did those, right? Nope. Oh. From websites and online stores to marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace is the all-in-one platform to build a beautiful online presence and run your business. There are no hidden fees or price hikes, and all websites are optimized for mobile. And it's so simple. Start with a design template and use drag and drop tools to make it your own. Head to squarespace.com slash idiot for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, use the offer code idiot to save 10% off your first purchase. Now let's start the show. Uh, Big Hezzy is here, of course. What's up, baby? Uh, Tramp Lactus is here. <laughs> Tramp <Wax>. Lactus. <laughs> <laughs> I saw the title for last week's What is You never it? heard of Galactus? No. Galactus is... Oh, the... Uh, the, the he'll, he's a villain, villain in the Marvel Universe. He goes around devouring planets. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. That's what Wax does to women. <laughs> he goes around devouring women, it's ruining not, lives. That's not true. And so he's tramp Now he's ruining his own life. That, don't tell him nothing. That's it's what... It, yeah. Well, it happens. Now you're ruining your own life, day, bro. If you go through something, if you praying... And you paying your tithes and offerings. Whatever I go through is all God going to bless me anyway. So I, I, can't no, wait not this time. I can't wait till you meet God. I can't <laughs> wait till you meet God. <laughs> I can't wait. You think I've been so calling somebody you how all stupid your logic is, bro. No. <laughs> gonna sit here. Did you really believe that dumb shit? What are you this talking about? Do. He's going to sit down and he's going to go, did you really believe all that dumb shit Talk that you were that I have that You, I get, I you put think you on a, a couple journey? tides makes it okay? Yes. <laughs> I'm putting tides in all the tides. You think God invented tides? You think that he wants detergent? <laughs> yeah. God don't care about detergent. Oh, exactly. Clean your life, bro. <laughs> Not your clothes. <laughs> <laughs> well, I pay my tides and offers. That's, that's for my financials. And I, and I pray to God and I ask God to always bless me and guide me. So whatever happens, he's not to guiding that day, you right now. Why he not guiding me? He's not How guiding you, know you right now. You don't want guidance, that, that was bro. not that was not a godly decision. I want. I think that was. No, I felt it in my heart. Anything I feel in my heart, I just go ahead. You and did do not it. feel in heart. That was your ego. Your ego was wounded. Well, Dang, my, I ego, nothing to my heart. ego got hit by my heart. That, no, that was what. <laughs> <laughs> Made perfect sense to him. Yeah. <laughs> that, that voice you hear is our guy Stilo Brim. Yeah, you know, yes. you know, a guy that's made about 35, 40 million sitting what? on the couch. At least. Nah. Sitting on the couch. Nah, I'm broke. <laughs> <laughs> I'm broke. Nah. 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 Don't talk that. Stilo Brim. Stilo, you done made some M's off ridiculousness. Cut it out. Yes, yes. You've been doing it forever. Yes, bless it. 40? I'd be a bad businessman if I didn't make no M's. Yes, yes, but not yes, forty. Yes. Forty's crazy. I don't think I made no forty M's. No. God bless, Rob Dirty. Forty yeah. sounds crazy. How are you though, brother? I'm doing really well, man. I'm doing really well. Good to see you, man. What you doing in New York? Uh, I was there filming a uh, movie. And, really? Uh, yeah, yeah. A little Netflix film. So uh, finishing that up, and then uh, just been doing press, man. Popping around. What's the What's the Netflix film? Or can you talk about it? I don't even know. I mean, they announced it, but I don't know if I've announced that I was in it. So. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. It's a, it's a little film, though. Which Can ones? I talk about it? I don't know. If they announced it already, they just talk about it. that with, shit. It's with uh, Gabrielle Union. It's, it's called The Perfect Fine. It's coming out. Dope. Uh, La La's oh. in it. Yeah, it's all Okay, cool. okay. Yeah, Keith Power stars in it. Dope. Okay. Yeah. Dope. Congratulations, Thank man. You, man. Well, listen, Stilo got to get in where he fit in because we got a lot to talk about this week. Let's do it. Yeah, let's go. Um, Shout out to La La, bro. Salute to La La. She's she wagging, bro. Yeah. Man, stop. Man. Okay. She does, dude. It stop, was crazy, man. bro. Stop, no, it was crazy, man. dude. Stop, man. She, she, was, she was in that film that I did, and I saw it, and I was just like, that's fucking La La is a beautiful woman. That's the homie right no, there. No, she's also beautiful. Yeah, but yeah, But she yeah, also yeah. has that other th- other part. That and, and like, no, all jokes aside, La La is literally one of the most stupid. amazing people I've ever met in my life. This no, is a human. That That is also true. Yeah. That's also true. Like, two things. This can be true. Like, yes, I hear yes, everything yes, you're saying yes, and, like, yes. kind, compassionate, empathetic, like Blessings. a beautiful person. But she, also, she has some retarded shit that's fallen off the back of her ass. She would take that. And by the way, she would take that as a compliment. She would. No, she absolutely she, would. She would. Of course, she would. 100%. She would. Nah, she would. Salute to Lala. So, shout out to Lala, dude. People forget I used to be on Lala's reality show I back remember. in the day. Way, that way, way. I went on a date or something, didn't you? No, not no, me and Lala. Another one. Nah, didn't you guys go on a date on the show? That was no. It was like a fake date. No, no, that was it. That was it. That was when I did uh, SWV's reality show. Me and Lily went on. I was just part, a lot, lot of homies. I was. I used to be around Lala all the time. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, so yeah, yeah. I just was always on the show. I was one of her lesbian friends. 
So, um, <laughs> listen, and for real, it was me, Poe, Basically, Dice, Miss <laughs> <laughs> Patrick. Salute to Poe and Dice. <laughs> yeah. Listen, uh, Positively Brilliant, what a fucking idiot, man. We have to talk about this backlash. I don't even know if shit be backlash anymore. I just think it'd just be a couple people on social media who be having a difference of opinion and they just be mad about certain things and everybody acts like what they say is is so true. Why are people mad about what Kim Kardashian said? She said work hard. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Why are people, what am I missing? Why would you not be mad about what she said? Why would you because mean? Because they come from, you know, it's it's the wrong messenger. It's not it's not the wrong message. No. It's like working hard no. is, is, is is for everybody. We all, can all so, agree so, so on you that. Won't, so you won't talk to a drunk pastor? No, it's more about the, the actual... Uh, messenger and them coming from a family of hundreds and hundreds of millions of dollars and telling people y'all they need to didn't work come hard. from a family of hundreds and hundreds of millions of dollars. Bruce no, they didn't. had a hundred million before they ever got there. Well, her dad was Robert Kardashian. And he the also lawyer. had M's as well. He had M's, but Kim's has surpassed all of them financially. She has, but also you had that money to, to base to actually work off of to get there quicker. But you know what happens to yeah, people? No, they didn't, she, she wasn't in their field. No, but I mean, she had, look, every, they had advantages. Everybody is going to have advantages, yes. 100%. And but what's that got to do with what she said? No, no, exactly. She's <laughs> right. And I think what Steele is saying is, like, it's just maybe the wrong messenger. Mm. Why? Don't be the pill. No. I'm going to tell you why I respect what, Kim, I'm gonna tell you why I respect what Steele said. Yeah. This is what I wish everybody would say. What? Just say you don't like Kim Kardashian. You don't like Kim? No, I like him. I ain't got no problem with Kim and her family. But you just said it's the messenger. It's the messenger. It's so like, it's not the message. If it came bro. from Rihanna, you'd be like, oh, she came from Barbados. She a billionaire now. It bro, came from you nothing. Know, cool. you, know, you know who got a wagon, bro? Okay. I don't know, Shut up. Got, <laughs> I don't know how we got back here. Bruce got a wagon now, <laughs> bro. Stupid. Wow. Really? Stupid. I don't believe that. I don't you know. get up, dude. Bruce Jenner got a wagon? Well, now, Caitlyn. Caitlyn Jenner got a wagon? Bro. Really? Okay. Yeah, that's why. That's I, why he, yeah. up. I don't want to get sidetracked, no. but I need to see. No, you got to no. pull it up, bro. That's why he crashed I'm the car. He just came no from the There's no way he got a... He must have hit it. Don't even know what you said. You know after the BBL, you can't sit down to see normal. He must have got that after track. Because you can't have a wagon when you're doing track. Yeah. You would pick up that picture, Jealous. <laughs> you would get, you would get jealous, that picture. Jealous. Hold on, let's see. What, you know what I mean? Just because you're not yeah. fighting with Pooh. Caitlyn got a wagon? Not one look picture with the wagon. Look at that yeah. one in the white. Look Yo, at that one so in the man, white man, 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 BBLs too. too? She got the white woman wagon. Nah, 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 no, no. Nah, 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 come on. Nah. The WWW. Nah, yeah, I don't see no wagon. The VW. I don't see no wagon. The VW wagon. I don't see no wagon. So you don't understand, like, when I see all the rich kids, they usually pill heads. They got everything given to them. So them not the ones that you expect to go ahead and do things. Yeah, no, for sure. But you also, if some rich dude came to you and told you, some dude you knew was just like, man, you know why you ain't making it right now? You just ain't working hard. I'm going to listen because he's I'm rich. I'm going to listen. Nah, you're not. You might why tell him like, I? yo, let me talk to your dad or whoever gave you that that that, that look. That's not it, true, it, though. You got to tell him. Kim works, though. That's I'm not, right. I'm not saying Kim does not work. I'm not saying Kim does not work hard and that she's not actually good at what she does. I'm saying that from this family, the history they have and how they got there, us actually documented us watching them the full time. 20 years. It's hard. We watched them make a billion to, dollars. We did watch them make a billion dollars, but it's still hard for you to listen to Kim Kardashian. It's not hard. Like, no, oh, it's Rob, not Rob, at all. Rob, now Rob said that it'd probably be a little different. Exactly. If, listen, down, if it's so easy flat. for them to make money, what's up with Rob? Mm. I mean, they, what, how many billionaires we got in the family now? Like two. Two? two? <laughs> yeah, I don't know if it's just, just straight hard work. That's all I'm saying. I'm saying it's the message. Why Rob ain't do it then? But all she, listen, play the, let's play the clip. Let's play the clip. Let's play the clip. Can we play the clip? Term is the best advice for women in business. <laughs> Get your fucking ass up and work. There you go. It seems like nobody wants to work these days. You That's have to, so true. You have to surround yeah. yourself with people that want to work. Have a good work environment where everyone loves what they do because you have one life. No toxic work environments and show up and do the work. If you're the smartest. What did she say wrong? Anybody play no one Did she say anything wrong? Yes, they're acting like what she said oh. was actually wrong. You can end it now, Taylor. They're acting like what she said was actually wrong. Here's the thing about work, too. Mm. A construction worker's work is going to look different than the work an attorney does in his office throughout the day. Mm -hmm. A person in the military that's working, their work is going to look different than the work a college student is putting in. There's, there's people that are right now digging actual graves for a living mm -hmm. who looking at us and don't think none of this is work. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm Our saying? Wives. They think what we do is not work. <laughs> Our wives don't all, think this shit works. I'll do nothing. Man, 
What we was just talking to uh, our guy. Oh, shit. And I don't even know why I should say this. I'll, I'll say this. I'm talk- exhausted. I come home exhausted. She's like, from what? From what? From, what? Yeah, from yeah, hanging yeah. with your exactly. boys? Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Yeah. 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 That's work exactly. to you. The lights. Yeah. <laughs> you sit down <laughs> all day. The lights are hot. You don't get it. We, we, we know somebody that works in radio right now. Their, their wife is a nurse. Whenever the wife gets mad, the wife says, all you do is push buttons all day. Yeah. I actually work. <laughs> <laughs> Work is different for everybody. Yeah, what what Kim, field did you use? That's you Kim's field. For her field, she outworks everybody. Yes. And that's why she's in the position that she's in. Yeah, mm-hmm. I'll give her that. I just think that a lot of people chalk up her success as sucking Ray J's dick good. And oh, then when you we- and then when you don't add that into the equation, I think a lot of people will go, hey, you're missing out a big part. Because what you 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 have built this career off of fame, and that is what catapults you to into superstar. I mean, I push back. That. How many girls got sex tapes? There's a bunch of women out there with sex rocks. tapes. Yeah, but they just ain't made a billion though. Why not? That's their I mean, fault. I mean, the sex, the sex tape wasn't worth a billion though. That's what I'm saying. So I'm what does she have to do huh? after yeah, the sex tape? Huh? So what does she have to do after <laughs> the sex tape? She had to do a whole bunch of work. Again, I'm not saying it's just all Did you the... just say she worked? No, I, no she worked. I, I, yeah. I said she didn't work. I said she work. I think the frustration, it's not yeah. about whether she works or not. The frustration is just, uh, it feels to the average person. I think the average person is potentially hating on this, especially girls, because I imagine there's a lot of pushback from women. It's like, man, I could do that if I just suck dick, which a lot of them couldn't. They suck dick, yeah. right? A lot of them. Come. That's not true. You, you know still got to put in the work after sucking the dick. Yes. That's, yeah, that's true. I, true. You got to make a true. sandwich. There's guys out here that suck dick too. Because in the industry, they say if you suck some dick, you get to the top. And well, some of them got to the top. Not really. Not no, without the work. I'm at the bottom, not baby. without the work. <laughs> you got to have work. <laughs> <laughs> you got to have work. <laughs> come here, Nyla. Come here. Get on. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. What'd you say? Go, yeah. to, go right there to Alex. It's Nyla Simone, NYLA. Big work ethic. Big work ethic, Nyla. Go, go, go. <laughs> no, I don't feel like y'all should have even brought up the sex tape because I got nothing to do with the message that you are given. Like, and what I don't like is that men always bring up a woman's sexual history or sexual past when it comes to some shit that has nothing to do with anything. Like, it's like a, it's like a bad grade on your report card. She has an A+. Plus. You got a fucking 4.0 GPA. She's a billionaire, but you over here talking let, about she sucked dick. Let the record show, though. Let the record Can show. A lot of women came at her yesterday with that. Yeah, this yeah. A lot of women yeah. were coming exactly. at her saying, Guys yeah, but you care can't do the sex tape. We don't care. Men podcast. don't care about Kim no. Kardashian ever. No, he brought, up what, he brought up what people were saying. Yeah, uh, this, the, the negative reaction, the backlash has come from women on the internet. It's not coming from right. dudes. It's, all I saw was women coming at her. Yeah, we don't care. I just think it's the representation. It's, it's the, the person. But the, but the sex thing is important because if her career is based on uh, the currency of clout, right? I don't want to be reductive, but if it's based on the currency of clout and fame for fame's sake, that is the thing that catapulted her into superstardom. So to cut that out of her success matrix is kind of unfair. Yeah. It's not like it's a stain on your report card in high school. It's like, Yo, that was your rookie year. You're the all-star. Is this part of the resume? It it, it, it is part part of the resume. resume. Because because of her line of work, because she's a reality show star, like Mm -hmm. Andrew said, because clout and fame is really what she's famous for, it was part of that. That was the spark that... It, got it, her pop. It, it was a part Glory. of it, but she's in like she's already in the LA network scene. Like she worked with Paris After Hilton. That, she dated a lot of people in our culture. So I think one way or other it would have happened. I don't think so. Not like that. Y'all act like this happens all the time. The Kardashians have built a dynasty over twenty years. She don't got a dynasty gimmicks. because of that tape. That's I guess. I agree with that. I, I, so I agree. what you say about Portman? And maybe some people are overestimating how big a part it plays. But to act like we shouldn't even include in the conversation, I think is unfair. It's like an internship. Like you have to, you if you talk about like somebody like Diddy, you have to talk about the time that he worked at Uptown Records as yep. an intern. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. You have to. Yes. Yeah. You yeah. have to. And, and regardless nah. of what Stedman do, he still so, Oprah's man. Okay, so for you guys all on the chair right now, when people talk about y'all accolades, like, oh, you just got the Black Effect Podcast Network, you got a number one morning show. People aren't going like, oh, but... You remember Charlemagne used to date this person, or we seen him on the red carpet. With, like nobody's. Doing I ain't date nobody team. famous. Yeah, yeah and I don't did, have a popping sex it. tape. Now I could have had a popping sex tape early on in my career. That shit was. Key. Yeah. That's your key. 
<laughs> okay. Talk I could have recorded that. Talk okay. to him, Sean. <laughs> right. I paid dues. Yeah. I have trauma behind this shit. You hear me? You got trauma. All right. I have trauma behind <laughs> this shit. That's what I'm talking about. Yes. Speak on it, bro. Please don't do that. Hey, speak Save on it. Save us all. Save us all. Yo. <laughs> and I'm only laughing. I'm only laughing to hide the cry. pain. That's what I'm saying. You want to cry. <laughs> Yo, let's talk about it, man. Let's get it off your no, chest. No, never. Though. Come on, bro. First It'll of be a whole crying session. And it's, no. wor it's worth too much money. Why would I ever do that? Why would I ever do that here? Time and place for everything. Oh, exactly. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> okay. So when you have your Netflix documentary, like the Kanye shit, you're going to let it go? Crying. That's what I'm talking about. I got about. the tears ready. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be those tears that come before I even say anything. <laughs> the trembling lip. I need a moment. But Stilo, you've been in LA for a long time. How many people you seen just hanging around that don't turn into billionaires? A for lot, years. A lot. I mean, yeah, a whole bunch of people. I mean, I, I don't think it's it's easy to become a billionaire. Again, mm -hmm. I just think it's the messenger. I think it's like when Amber Rose went out for the slut walk. Uh, nothing against Amber Rose. People, you know, what Amber Rose was speaking about was all facts, you know what I'm saying? It's like, oh, we want to protect women, we want to protect sex workers. But people had a problem uh, uh, digesting that Amber Rose was the spokesperson for um, the slut walking women in general. So I think it's just people don't want to hear Kim Kardashian really. I wouldn't want motivate. Oprah doing a mm. slut walk thing. I, I'd rather uh, her to do it than Oprah. Because I don't know if Oprah got the experience. That's what I'm saying. So I'd rather department. her to Why? be the one to do it. I, and Oprah, Oprah, Amber, talk about Amber, Amber speaking from experience. I don't That's know. Oprah, so I rather her do it. Yeah, Oprah. but experience. But you still, it's still her standing up and protecting women. I disagree, you don't have experience man. Not, it's the right thing. I to think do. it's women. I disagree, yo. Yeah. That's why I always say this era would never let Malcolm Little become Malcolm X because who else to speak about changing their life and evolving than somebody who actually did it? Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't want to hear. I don't, who I want Ti to go talk to the kids. To yes. tell them how to stay out of jail. I want yeah. Gucci man to go talk to the kids. That's why I like the drunk tell pastor. them how to stay out of jail. That's why I like drunk pastors that pastors have been crackheads because they actually really went through it. They're going to tell you to actually route. They've been saved. Go. They've been saved for real. <laughs> yeah. Don't, don't they know the power of God. Stuff like that. Is that like a requirement? Like, yo, pastor got to be a crackhead? A <laughs> he don't have to be a crackhead, but I want him to have to go through something, at least a divorce or something. I want you got to know this something. beforehand? Before joining the uh, church? Maybe not. I mean, I always go for the message at the end of the day. But I know where that message came from. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's different. Wax is right. I don't need my people to have to have some type of trauma or have to have some type of struggle. But if I've seen them overcome it, yeah, I'm going to Yeah, that. why wouldn't I listen to that, to that, to that individual? And I've never really got caught up in, you know, messenger. I don't listen to the message because of the messenger. If no. somebody said some good shit, I'm just taking the good shit. Oh, especially yeah. with money, it's like game gets passed down. Yes. You know, yeah. so if it's like if some families have money for you know, hundreds of years, you might want to talk to them and see why they still got money. Yeah. Because all I see is, uh, all I see is a family whose generations keep getting wealthier and wealthier. Yeah. Rob Kardashian was an attorney. Mm. Yeah. Right. Nobody in the family went into the the, the law law field. Mm. Right. Then well, they then Kim a little Kim, bit. Kim a little bit now. Right. And then they got into, then Bruce Jenner came. None of them weren't, were athletes. So they took a whole different route yeah, and got popping. But even outside of Kim, I just want to know, what did she say wrong? Because if, if the only thing you she can tell me that, 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 that it's the messenger, yeah. she said anything wrong. that's silly. Yeah, it's, it like, it's like when a white dude offers advice for black people. Even if the shit is right, it's like, why are you telling black people I what agree. they should do. Well, it depends what they say. What yeah, is, give me an example. Like, what do they say? I know. Work hard. Work hard. Yeah. 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 The same shit. Y'all don't want to work shit. no more. It's the same shit. It is the same shit. <laughs> it's the same shit. You know it is. You know it's the same no. shit. It's actually it's no, the same no, shit. No. Who's saying that? No. But no, it's actually it's it's a white lab. No, 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 no. It's actually worse, and the pushback would be worse because then they'd bring we start we'll bring up all the systemic racism yeah. and systemic yeah. oppression yeah. that has kept us from you know growing and prospering. That's yeah. the whole pull them up by the bootstraps. Like, listen, at the end of the day, everybody has to work, but yes. there's always going to be challenges for certain. There's certain uh, people communities. you want to hear tell you to work hard. Mm hmm. You know, if so, if, you can, if Khaled can tell you, why wouldn't you listen? But you kind of know it's a joke. Yeah, Nobody buys in. Yeah, They're not on. doing an interview with like the actual score. And did you hear the music behind them? 
It was so serious. It yeah, actually made it worse. Yeah, like, like, Cal is doing that. dances being like, yo, we exactly. Exactly. Like, nobody's taking it serious. Cal performs way worse than they did. We're not nah, taking it serious. Cal <laughs> sleep shames people. <laughs> Cal be like, you drooling on your pillow. Yeah. I bet you drooling on your pillow right now while I'm doing the work. What that commercial? <laughs> that commercial, like, get up out of your seat, go to college, that yeah. college commercial. Yeah. Cal got like on a, a elliptical machine for three years, sweating his ass <laughs> off, little <laughs> Weight Watchers that sponsorship, telling y'all to work hard, and lose yard. a pound. That is true. And y'all <laughs> got motivated, and nobody pushed back on Cal not once. Keys. So who no do we need? Key. Who do we need to motivate us? Diddy. And Diddy's another one. Nah, Diddy, Diddy said, it. "You don't work, you don't eat." Yeah. It, Period. But it all depends yeah. on where you come from. Like I said, I don't mind a crackhead telling me. You know what I'm saying? Like I had, I passed. Telling that. us what now? Let's be. Specific. I'm just saying. Like he told me to go to college. I shouldn't be out there selling drugs. I had a pastor in the house. My father. Mm -hmm. I had a sergeant in the house. My brother. You see what I'm saying? Add I, context I, to the crackhead thing, though, because the reason you listen to the crackhead because he was a crackhead and he was telling you how not exactly to end up like him. Exactly. I'm saying. I don't, mm. I'm yes. looking at his actual thing. I'm like, if he's telling me not to go that way, I shouldn't listen to him. But my brother and him telling me like, don't do crack or don't be out here selling drugs and stuff mm. like that. I'm like, uh, I hear you, yeah. but I want to go try my own experience. My experience was this man right here. And I seen, I was like, I do not want to be that. Okay, you're right. I'm listening to you. So mm. It all depends on who it is or what situation you in. Yeah, I'm just, I, I don't think she said anything wrong. No, I mean, no, she didn't. Not at all. And it's, 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 it's just her. It's, and and what, what fucks it up, when you shoot down the messenger, you're actually shooting down the message in this situation. Mm. You don't know because who's the, Because the message should be upheld. The message of, yes, work hard. And by the way, Working hard doesn't always equate to success, but success is also subjective. Who are you comparing it to? Mm. You may not end up a billionaire like Kim K, but mm. something good is going to happen. Mm. You know what I mean? You'll be able to make a living at least. Mm. But I mean, it's a whole bunch of people who feel like they work hard day in and day out, have multiple jobs, who feel like their, their result is not a billion dollars. So for that messenger to be telling you, work hard, you're not doing enough. It's like when Steve Harvey was on the show that one time being like, hey, billionaires and millionaires don't sleep. It's like, it's so toxic to tell people that. Because also people who have minimum wage jobs or have multiple jobs don't sleep. But that's for And they also don't though. have it. Yeah, it's for a lot of people. It's for the majority yeah, it, of people. Even when you go to church, it's like that message is not for everybody. It's for that person that's supposed to be here it that day. You know what I'm saying? Tomorrow might no, be for you. No, that was for everybody. That was for the internet. It is. But, 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 <laughs> We've but seen it. For, somebody took it in and somebody digested it. So whoever that was. Courtney. It was we saw her. It was Courtney that did it. Well, me too. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, not, I mean, Nala, you agreed with it when you heard it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it was like one day more. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Damn. Whoever it was for, I don't care if it touched one person, it was for somebody. Tomorrow might be for somebody else. You might hear the crackhead say it or the cab driver. And the Steve Harvey message is toxic just because telling people not to sleep is toxic as fuck. I yeah. can't believe we ever bought into that stupid shit. Yeah. Even when Nas back now, in the day said... I don't said, think he meant actually sleep as going to bed. I'm thinking like just sleeping on your dreams yeah, but, not moving. Yeah, you know but when saying? I was young, I really took that shit to heart. <laughs> Me too. I, did, I, did too. <laughs> I was staying up all night I for no too, goddamn man. reason. <laughs> Oh, I did too. I, well, I'm, Anybody I, got time for that? You I started playing music. I, I used to A&R. I used to think to myself, if I wasn't in the studio until 5 or 6 a.m., I, I wasn't working hard. That's dumb. And by the way, we, yeah, we all subscribed <laughs> to that when we was young. I, I, I stay up all night for what? Go get some goddamn rest no, so you can be more energy. productive the next day. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? You say you don't sleep energy. now, Shos? Yeah, I mean, not that much. Why? Because I'm working, man. No. Steve I mean, Harvey I try to. I try to, but like, Steve Harvey got me. <laughs> no, like I try to get like six hours or something like that. But yeah, it's Great. just tough. There's a lot going on. Not me. I'm out. There's no, 24 I'm hours in a day. How many hours you sleep? You're up at four in the morning. You sleep yeah, four but hours be in, a night. I be in Tops. bed by like 10. Get out of here, bro. Yeah. 10, 11. I be in bed by like 10, yo. Every uh, Watching I'm, a movie or something. Nah. I be in bed by Nobody like 10. I four or five hours of sleep I do a day. There you go. I try to. That's cool. I, I got to get at least six. Anything more than that is kind of wild. No, it's not. It's wild? Tired all day. If I could get eight a day, I would take if that I, eight yeah, a day. I say, I would, eight I'd sounds amazing if you can get it. Yeah. I be sleep all day. I sleep too long. That's the mode I'm in now. Because mm. I think we all realize as we get older, the real thing is to work smarter and not harder. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know sure. what I'm saying? Sure. Like, you know, you. I, and by the way, Stilo, you said something that's real. It is people working, you know, multiple jobs that will, you know, Never see a billion dollars, but the difference is it's the line of work that they choose to be in. Mm. I'm not knocking nobody for whatever, you know, line of work they choose to be in. Everybody mm. works based off what field they're in. Mm. If you're in a business that is giving out, you know, that kind of money and you're putting in those kind of hours, you're going to get that kind of money out of it. Mm. If you're in a business that's paying mid-level salaries or even minimum wage, if you got three minimum wage jobs and you're working, that's on you. you know, 80 hours a week, 120 hours a week, you're going to 
reap the benefits of that. Yeah. So it's just all about what field you're in. Yeah, yeah but I don't know if it's necessarily always choice and feeling like, oh, it's a field that chooses you. Like when you come from certain communities, certain environments, certain backgrounds, you feel like sometimes that job chooses you. Like you might not even have a, a real uh, an, uh, a chance to really chase your dreams. You know how expensive it is to chase your dreams. I agree. Ain't free, like like. I get so that. for that person to come up and be like work harder, you like you had the 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 pleasure and and the privilege the privilege of going to chase your dreams as well of not having to be like oh this job chose me. You woke up and was like I don't know if I want to work it. Yeah, no, I, I decide when I want to work. Mm. I agree, but one thing that she said in that clip was all she said was work hard. Yeah, that's I, it. Yeah, not against it. So what? So whatever it is you're doing, whatever field you're in. Just work hard at it. Now, the dream yeah, chasing thanks. thing is a whole different conversation because yeah. that, to me, that means that you have to decide what it is that you want to do. What is your purpose? You know what I'm saying? What is your passion? You know, what is your intention when it comes to certain, you know, uh, lines of work? We all chose our, and to your point, some people don't choose. Mm -hmm. But for us in this room, we chose what it is that we wanted to do. And by the way, that don't mean it would have worked. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's <laughs> like, exactly. just, like, there's plenty of people that have been doing comedy for years. Shorts that ain't yeah. selling out no arenas. Yeah. They ain't selling no theaters, but I bet you they're making a living. Yeah. Yeah. I bet 100%. you they're making a living. It's plenty yeah. of people who aren't nationally Success syndicated. Is subjective. Subjective. Sure. Yeah, yeah, it it's is. plenty of people sure. who aren't nationally syndicated radio personalities, yeah. but they've been working in their market for 25, 30 years, and yeah. they've had a steady paycheck for 25, 30 years. Yeah. That's successful to me. Yeah, if is. she if she said literally this, like there, there are many ways to become famous. But to maintain your success, it takes hard work. Mm -hmm. If she literally just said Straight that, up. like yeah, you can yeah, become yeah, famous yeah, yeah. or successful because your parents did it for you. You can become famous successful because you have a sex tape. You can become famous or su successful because you work hard. But to maintain it, yeah. it takes undeniable work ethic and hard work. Yeah, and that's right. what people aren't everybody. doing. But what about, yeah. about Stedman? Stedman just been Stedman because he's Stedman. Stedman's an attorney. Stop saying right, that. That's, that's, what that's not true. So that's what I'm saying. Nobody else knows about that. You don't, they no, they no. know it's about, about him being with Oprah. Did that, you know that, that about Stedman? Yes. I mean, I knew the attorney. Yeah, yeah. Yes. But I don't know how, how, how much about? he really working. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how much work he is really doing. Is he taking doing? cases, bro? Like, <laughs> what cases is he doing? Yes. You, you heard uh, him cases he did? Bro, Stedman was putting in mad work. I don't know what kind what of attorney he doing, doing? Yeah. Somebody right, just you? told me something about who did, Somebody just told us something about Stedman. Remember we was with somebody? It was Oprah. Oh, remember we was in Dallas. What happened? Don't say the name. My people husband. But what happened? I don't know what happened to Oh, you wasn't with me. That's what I'm saying. Never mind. Listen, listen. No, I'm not saying. All I know is Stemmen, put it like this. Stemmen has been putting the work in for a long time. Okay. Okay. That, that, that's you my, think, that's you think Oprah is just going to be attracted to somebody who wasn't putting in work? But that's what I'm saying. It's like Stedman is know. right now. I don't know. Stedman, 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 she might be with that. Oprah. <laughs> yeah. Listen, Stedman being with Oprah know, is, is Kim Kardashian sex tape. First of all, I'm not going to sit here and let y'all disrespect Stedman. Y'all need, you know need to salute Stedman. You know why y'all need to salute Stedman? You know why y'all need to salute Stedman? Because Stedman ain't never been no clout chaser. Yo. He ain't. He ain't. Yeah. Stedman has been, sit yeah. yeah. been sitting next yeah. to one he of the most richest be chilling. women be chilling. in America yeah. and ain't never searched for clout. Each yeah, ever. Yeah, that man true. is secure with who he is. That bag is nice. Because <laughs> he got his own. That bag yeah. is nice. He probably got his own, but I promise you she dropped another one on top of that. But if he wasn't with Oprah, you think they people know him? Probably no. That's what I'm saying. No, what are you saying? His first so name. you saying he only get an attorney work from Oprah? Not right? attorney it's work, but just his man. clout and his things oh, okay. he did. I think se I heard sex tape. With what has he too. done though? Who's you don't even know. That's what I'm trying to tell That's you. You saying what Stepin has done? What has Stepin done? He's Oprah's guy. No, I know he's an attorney. He's a businessman. He's an entrepreneur. He was that before he but got with Oprah. Man, Who knows stop that? Though? Who knows that? Fucking bio shit you see in it's girls. It's the truth Instagram. though. But nobody knows that's what I'm saying. I don't know what you're saying. Yo, he's a lawyer. Yes. Okay. It, yes. It, Oprah is probably like, yo, what do you think about this deal? He could look it over. Yeah. I mean, he ain't doing a nine to five at some random law firm. He was. Before Oprah. Yeah. Yeah. You know how long ago that was? But there's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> I, hope when, like a I, I, hope I, I hope when I'm that age, I ain't doing shit. Yeah. What are we talking about? Yeah, look, I don't think we're being critical of Stedman. Like, you know, do your thing, bro. It was number one Google search. Stedman. What does Stedman do? Oh, his first name is Stedman. <laughs> what did you think his <laughs> name was? Oh, that shit was his second name. That sounded name. like a second name. Come on, click that. What kind of work does Stedman do? The first one. Man, no, it's no, right there. Under people also ask. You're going to knock your dick in the dirt. No, the other one. <laughs> Just click on what kind of work Stedman do. That first drop There you go. Yeah. Boom. Yeah. 
Stedman Graham is an American educator, author, businessman, and public speaker. You see that last line? He's not he reading. He reading. He, read, he, read, he, read. he is the long term yeah. partner of Oprah Winfrey. He made up his job. He, he, made his job. Job. Yeah, he never so even. Yeah. No, you lawyer. Yeah, see, and go, you dragged me into this shit. Go to his Wikipedia. Go to his Wikipedia. This guy is crazy, man. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. He received a bachelor's degree in social work from what does that shit say? James Harden, Ben Simmons he University. Got him James Harden. What is that? Harden Simmons University. Uh, then he went to Ball State University. He played college basketball. Harden yeah, business bro. career. Hold on, he moved to North oh, Carolina. Down there. Keep established going. himself in PR. Um, he had a bunch of clients. He's also founded. He's a member. Of Indian, he's a member of Indian Broadcasting Hall of Fame. Oh shit, maybe he wasn't a lawyer. God damn. Let's get his manager. I thought he was a lawyer. But time out though. But look at so so you're gonna negate all of that work he did? No, but you what? said you said he just did a case. <laughs> work, work. What? You, you why said, you, why you just putting this on me? You but made no. up a job. He's also the author of several self-help and business-related books, right? How many books he got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. He's got twelve books. Type in Stedman Graham as a lawyer. I need to know where I got this shit from. <laughs> <laughs> I do. I got. I need to know where I got this from. He was in the and everything. He was in the, Either yeah. way, that man went to college. That God man put in all that work. That man played college ball. He had, a, he had a PR firm. He he me. And he that he bro, bro. How on. far we've tumbled down. <laughs> Stedman <laughs> Graham. Hey, either way, he went to college. Hey, by the way. <laughs> he played ball. Stedman like. Graham. Hey, by the way, I didn't know he did all that. I just said he was a lawyer. Listen, Yo, we know Wax and Stedman got the same qualifications. Man, shut up, man. I got Oprah. Yeah. Oprah, Oprah's friend. No. no if, oh, I'm lawsuit. tripping. Time out. No, I'm tripping. If Stedman no, 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 no. Go, go, go. I fucked it up. Look. It sounds like Ignition no, Law. No, Graham Stedman. Oh, that's somebody different. That's a whole other person. Yeah, oh, my yeah, yeah. God. He's a lawyer. <laughs> All his kids based on no, <laughs> no, no, Graham God. Stedman. Following a long career as a corporate lawyer, I became the senior partner of London-based international law lawyer. firm. Involved. No, for, I know I got that shit from somewhere. Don't ever call the cops on somebody. He a he's a lawyer. Wrong description. He's a lawyer. Oh, don't be a bank teller in Atlanta is what you're telling me? And when Ryan Coogler comes Damn. in, that's what you're telling me? Yes, do not be. That's true. Don't Yo, be a bank can teller. We, can we have an honest discussion about that? What? About the Ryan Coogler shit? I would hope so. Let's talk about it. Yeah. You are a filmmaker. Yes. You've probably watched thousands of films in your life. Yes. You've watched every bank robbing film in your life. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Everyone starts the same way. Yeah. You walk up to the teller with your face covered and you slide him a note. Why the fuck would you do that? You're, you're missing out one. You're missing out one great point. What? Yeah. In those movies, they don't give you your debit card yep. and put their debit card in and, and your ID. And your ID and your, no, your pin. And you said on there, my account. Yes. Here's the, the thing. The note says, can I, I take some money from my everybody's account? Everybody's jumping to the conclusion of the woman who was behind the counter. Black she's woman, an idiot. by the way. Black woman. She's an idiot. Her. But no, everybody. God bless her, but she's an idiot. Well, okay, maybe she's an idiot. Everybody's assuming, this is why I, why I feel bad for her. Everybody's assuming she thought that he was there to rob the place. She did. I, this is my assumption. Play the 911 call. <laughs> Dude, I thought that she was there for identity theft. No, I thought she no. was like a guy's coming in with sunglasses and a mask. I can't mm -mm. see his face. No, He's no, got no. the IDs and mm -mm. all that kind of stuff. He no. knows it. Play the play play nah. 911 call. It's in Atlanta, right? It could be a guy's boyfriend. He's sure. coming in, right? He knows his passcodes, knows all that shit. And he's like, I'm going to take my boyfriend's money because he just I cheated on it, me. But I hear what you're saying. My, my only thing you is see, when, when you say take out a certain amount of money or you somebody, I always got to tell it. There's no way I'm going to the bank teller. I could be dressed like this. And I go to the teller. They're already going to call the cops on me anyway. That's not true. Why do y'all Why you telling me in my this? life? I'm telling you. you that's because you look suspicious. Thank I you. I want to call the police on you I, right that's now. That's what I'm trying and to I'm telling you for 20 plus years. You don't think it's possible that, you, that the, the guy's boyfriend, this is Atlanta. This is very plausible. <laughs> <laughs> the guy's <laughs> boyfriend who got all his passcodes, he's got his debit card, he's got it's all possible. that shit. They got in a huge fight, fucked him up, took his shit, came with the glasses and the mask so that he wouldn't exactly see the difference, gave the debit card, all that kind of stuff, didn't even say nothing, just boom. So, but Here's why are there no tellers there? I've why done, you go into the back and talk to? That's who you need to talk to. I've done this. A amount of money. Go, go, you yeah. done what? I've gone into the bank, but the only difference is, I'd be like, I want to make a withdrawal. Mm -hmm. When it's a large amount, which is only $200, that's what a large amount is to me, mm -hmm. I write down on the paper... Mm -hmm. the amount of money mm -hmm. and this is what I want and I give it to him I don't say it out loud I would arrest you if you wrote down $200 on your paper bro <laughs> yeah like, <laughs> you wrote down, give me $200 on a piece of paper I would arrest that's you that's a large amount like there's a why guy you, outside why are you judging me because that's not enough to be writing on a piece of paper why that's a large amount you don't want me to say that can I get 200 
Oh, Everybody yeah, don't right make there. millions Stop it, on ridiculousness, D-Lo. Oh, <laughs> wow. Do they, have wow. The Do they have the note that he wrote? It's right, it's right there. You can't even read. I would like to withdraw 12,000 cash from my checking Ouch, account. Bro. From my checking account. Yeah, what other checking account? Who writes this? Time you would just say, yeah, no, 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 no. That is suspicious right there. No, it's not. No, it's not. No, it's not. I'd like to take it from my checking account. No shit. Who, yeah, who else is? I gave I put you my, my card, card in here. and my yeah. ID. Well, what's up with the note? I, I just, so why you got to put your time account? Look at, look at that again. Look at that again. Look at that again. I want oh. y'all to look at that again. That's not just the note. That's the back of a withdrawal slip. Oh, it is. Yeah. I, see, I see. Okay. He gave them a withdraw slip. Yeah. All right. That's cool. Nah, this shit is suspicious. And you right. I didn't know what you talk. That's what I didn't know you talk. And I'll be honest. And I'll be honest. I didn't know. I got to talk when I'm there. Wax. I be. And this is my. Listen, I'm telling you. He did talk, but he did talk. Do you know what season then this why is? Why the hell he need to go ahead oh, and no, 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 Do you know what season this is? Because you I'm going to go to the bank and say, can I get $12,000? What he did is he absolutely right. He should have and sat down to these people. I know he go to the bank enough to know listen. you got to have a bank a bank guy. I, listen. No, My but, he's, but he's but, and no, I no, always but, go see but, him. But you're saying that because you're sitting in your community. He's in Atlanta filming. He's only living in Atlanta. So he's at a different bank. Mm. He's trying to get some cash out mm. and be like, all right, it could be for production, it could be anything. It was, for his, it was for his, he said he has a medical provider at the house who only takes cash. Yep. So you have the bank come drop off the cash. Like, like none of us haven't done this before. But I've never done that. Now. That's how you do that. Tell me that. That's a white privilege shit. I didn't know you could do that. I've never heard that. cash anytime you want. I've never heard that one, Schultz. 100%. swear to God. Schultz, you sound like me talking about Stedman Graham's a lawyer. I've never heard that. I've never heard that. Sure. I've never heard that. I might be. Bro. Yeah, that's different. No, I've never heard that. I, I never heard of black people robbing banks. I thought that only we did that. Man, shut up. <laughs> I'll be honest. I swear to God. I've never seen a black person rob banks in my life. i never seen a yeah. movie where black people rob banks. I thought this was Set a white job. You say what? Dead presidents. Black women. Dead presidents. Dead presidents. Dead presidents. Dead presidents. The dead presidents. Nah. Nah, they paint nah, themselves nah. white. They paint themselves white. <laughs> they did it in white face. They did it in white face. Yeah, because <laughs> nobody would have believed them <laughs> if they went in there with black actual faces. They had to go white face around right. the bank. This Only white people block around the bank. This you. is our job. White Y'all still yes. have fucking no, jobs, right? Like, you know what's so funny about that? And fucking shooting schools is guaranteed. That's all shit, You know what's so funny about that? Shit. When black people <laughs> rob banks, they put white fake masks on. Yeah, they do. What did the girls put on? Did the girls they put on the white shit? I think it was clear. I think it was clear. Oh, white people rob banks. Say clear. again? I don't know what that is. Me neither. What is takers? Oh, yeah, T.I., T.I., yeah, 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 yeah. They had a couple white dudes. Nobody saw that shit. Yeah. They need the white dudes. Nobody saw that shit. got white friends. It was unbelievable, bro. It was unbelievable. I just think this is bullshit. I think that, like, Brian going in and asking them that this is actually pretty normal. When I go in and if I'm getting an amount, I don't ever, like, write what I'm supposed to on the withdrawal slip. I write whatever I want to. I do that all the time. And be like, yo, you know, the bread's there. I put my card in already. I gave you my ID. We should have no issues. My other issue is this. If you are a new bank teller, if this is your first time going through that experience, I'm cool with all that. If you're afraid, you if you like, it's a slip, then you got to hand it off to your, your manager. actual manager anyway because yes. the, the amount is over your limit. So you got to go to your manager anyway. Yep. So your manager then did due mm -hmm. diligence and been like, ah, right, you know what? He's good. Everything is squared away. That's actually homie from blah, blah, blah. But instead, y'all just all panicked. Yeah, oh, why? Yeah, like, why does your mindset immediately go to let me call the police? Lovers yeah. tryst. Let me call nine one one. Lovers tryst. Uh, you What's forgot when mean? I was in your neighborhood. They got in a fight. Why did they all magically just call the, the cops? Wax, you don't count. Look at you. Yes, <laughs> you don't it, count. Yeah. Yes, no, it's not yes. <laughs> well, I mean, no. What about me? That's prejudice. <laughs> hey, that's prejudice. <laughs> hey, what yes. you're describing no. is prejudice <laughs> and racism, and we gotta stop that. Okay, I mean, we, we gotta, gotta put stop, stop to this. Yeah, and y'all gotta stop robbing banks. What no. the fuck we gonna rob? <laughs> what we gonna rob if y'all no, rob but, all the banks? Oh Listen, not, man, we almost missed some shit that night. I had to go to fucking jail for no reason. Come hey, out. I want y'all. Play the 911 cut, because listen to it. Please. Please. Listen, they pull their guns out of Listen to well. how she sounds. And he's just Please. being weird. Listen. Go. Listen. That note is kind of weird, though. Say what? I, wanna, I, don't, I, wanna, I don't. That note is not weird at all. Weird, actually. If she would have read it, if yo, she would have simply weird, read it. If your wife just gave weird. you a note out of nowhere, aren't you like, yo, what's going on over here? somebody buy weed from me and give, give me a you a note? note? Bro. Stop giving no weed from you and give you a no. Why would that? Why would what I if need there, to know? What ain't if no there, window in between us and that nigga here? Go to, here what go if they? Money, what if they weed. deaf? Yo, you better show me you deaf. Is you better deaf? be doing some other shit. <laughs> what? <laughs> listen, listen. <laughs> <laughs> listen, 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 listen. All right, come on, come on, hold on. Bring it back, bring it back, Taylor. Listen, listen, listen. Tom, <laughs> can you go back to the beginning back. and not talk? 
to my past me a note, and so I just told my manager I didn't feel comfortable. So he told me to call police while he, I guess, stalled for what is the What is on the note, Kim? Um, it just says, I want to withdraw $12,000. Um, just be discreet. Is this an actual customer, or are they trying to rob the bank? They had a debit card, and he inserted it. He gave me a California ID, but I was like, okay, um, I was like, how do you... I was like, how do you want the cash back? And he's like, just look at the note. And he had no weapons, correct? Not that I know of. He just has on black sunshade and a black. He uh, said, just um, look at the note? A black is, cat. is he a black male, white male? He's a black male. It's and every weird. time I ask him, like, a question, he's like, look at the note. So, oh, okay. But he inserted his debit card, and then I asked for his ID. He handed me his ID <laughs> as a California ID. But I didn't look at his name because I'm just, like, so shook up. Like, I don't know what he's trying to do. Now listen to the 911. So listen, listen, listen. Give me one moment. You know, I have to get my manager. Okay, so none of his uh, information, information was even verified. Okay. He might just want to be discreet, but I have police around. <laughs> yeah, I mean... He might. It's just, it's just being weird. And, and the 911 operator said he might just want to be discreet. Facts. I'd be real. I know Ryan. <laughs> he's lucky. I know Ryan. He's will. lucky he's black. I know Ryan. He's lucky he's alive. He's lucky he's black. If he was white, he'd be arrested, shot probably multiple no. times. Shut up. Yes. No, no, no not, not even close. If a white person hands Don't a fucking bank right. note. No, 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 hey, listen. Yeah. If a white person yeah, hands a bank note in the bank, <laughs> are you, they're shooting him immediately, bro. Not even they're close. They're shooting him immediately, dude. Nah, but they nah. probably have, they, you have warned to shoot him. White kid shows up to school, trench coat, starts acting a little weird. What happens? They, they, got, they, they let him live. live. That's what, this is racism they we let, experience. No, they let him, they let him do whatever he want to do. <laughs> do whatever he want to do. And they, they say, we never knew. She and was everybody scared. else did. Yep. But I'm saying, right now, I know Ryan enough. No, Ryan don't want to talk, number one. Ryan is very, like... He barely talks. Talk. He's very soft-spoken. He barely. Talk. He does, yeah. yeah. So, if anything, he probably just like, yo, it's a lot of money. And I'm all, he probably uncomfortable, honestly. He, 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 that amount of money. he told the police, he said, yo, I come in here. And whenever I have to take out large amounts, I always hand them a note because they go to the money counter. It's counting for a long time and everybody starts looking. Yo, we I don't know about y'all. I do that shit every time mm -hmm. if I'm taking out a large amount. Yeah. I give them a note. I, if, I try not to go in there when there's a lot of people in there. If I'm taking out my two hundred dollars. Yeah, How would you want your two hundred dollars? That's so? right. That's it. Because Five, the wolves is out. The wolves is out. The wolves is out. That's, out. that's why you need to go in the back and go into the little booths and let them go handle their thing. Listen, mm. but like, bring you back like Stilo back. told you earlier, he's not from Atlanta. He's from California. Yeah, they, His personal banker everywhere. is probably in California. Man, they got they got booths everywhere. Go down and sit down and talk to the people, man. I hope that one day we exist in a world where white men and black men can go to banks <laughs> and hand them notes and not experience the prejudice. Hand them withdrawal slips. This is a withdrawal slip. Hand them withdrawal slips. And on slips. the back of the withdrawal slip, you can write further comments. Yeah. And I gave you you my can ID. write your specific. Right, you know, bank but, but, but robber ever gave their ID. Fam. ID and Let's debit card. That. No bank robber in the no, history of bank robbing has ever been like, Would've here been also is no, how you can catch me. How you jump in? How you, how you the bank unless, teller? Unless it's a fake one. How you the ID. Well, guess now what? we just looking for reasons to get this nigga. You the bank teller. How you just jump to conclusions? Why you didn't just do your job? How about run his account? Oh, he got the money there. This is his ID. But, but, just, just, it's like if you're on a plane. If you heard things like bomb, it's certain keywords that happen. What no, keyword did what you hear? No, it was a keyword. No, it's a, a withdrawal keyword. slip. He didn't write the word. No, no, though. No, no, on the back. Have you ever looked at the back of a withdrawal slip? No. It tells you to write further yes. comments. It tells you to yes. write it specific things you want. Yes. I never knew that. Also, this man could actually die from this. Like, die from this. They, they came out with their guns, guns drawn on this man. And I'd be a buck with you. I don't know if I'm as poised and polished as him. To, to put my hands behind my back immediately because I'm at the bank. I already know I ain't got to know me. I'm probably going to put my hands up and turn around like, what the fuck is going on? He at least knew, okay, I'm hearing these locks. I'm hearing the guns. I'm going to just go ahead and put my hands behind my back. It's super scary, fam, Ouch. for you to be like, I'm getting cash out of it's, my I, bank account. I understand that, and but you know Somehow there are. are guns drawn on me. But but listen, this is it should, it, it, should, it, should, it shouldn't matter who he is. You're right. I, I shouldn't go to the hood with a chain on my neck either. You know what I'm saying? If I get robbed, there's certain things, certain places right now, we know how we get looked at. It's just what it is. Every time I the go in the bank, when I go to walk, when I go to Target, I know they're watching me. I can I, I know exactly what they're doing. Have you ever stole from Target? Never stole from Target, but um, I already know. For what would a fact, you steal? 
candles. All gloves. So you're basically, candles, you're, you're basically saying things. all, all <laughs> you're basically saying all discrimination <laughs> and profiling <laughs> against black men is justified. No, it's not justified, but I know exactly what time it is. If you live my shoes in my life, you, I know exactly when I go places. It doesn't make I, it better. I ain't got, I ain't got to, it's not right. There's, but, it's, but it's nothing I can do about it, so I gotta play as part. There's a lot of scenarios where I agree with Wax on that, but going into a bank. With a withdrawal slip, writing my specific needs on the back of the withdrawal slip, giving them my debit card and government ID is not one of those scenarios. Yeah. Well, if you, I would have never thought in a million years that would have happened. You see hold me on, hold on. To target, would, you, would you follow me on the cameras? Hold on. Alex, Wh- has, a, Alex has a comment. Alex. Yes. What bank robber is going to go in and be like, just give me $12,000? No, they're, they're going to be all. like, yo, give, give me, me all the money. Y'all so are missing the biggest been point. That should have been like, yo, he's not trying to rob the bank. He's actually acting. Y'all, for Alex, you're right. Y'all, no, no, y'all are acting like you know anything about bank robbing. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. All <laughs> right. Listen, all shit. I know, I know. Stop I, talking hey, about shit. Talk shit talk so hey, I know. No, fuck the specific amount. I know ain't no bank robber giving you your debit card and, go, and ID. Yeah, yes, of course. Yeah. Period. Listen, I'm mm-hmm. Ain't nobody doing that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, what period. are we talking I'm about here? I'm going to tell you how my life is. I know certain places I got to tiptoe until everybody get comfortable. So you tippy toes. I'm not tippy toes. You've always been tippy toes. No, this whole time you've told this story about tippy toes in the say, locker room. Places, you've been tippy toes. That they looking at me a certain way. I would never comfortable. I wouldn't expect that in the bank though, Wax. Not in that scenario. Yeah, bro. Not in that scenario, bro, man. People come in the bank. Not in that scenario. Kind of ways. And, 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 and construction stuff, and they they handling hundreds of thousands of dollars. You ever been in somewhere and you felt something on you, like you felt everybody eyes on you, felt that type. Yeah, of it's shit. called being black. Okay, that's yeah, what I'm but saying. I'm also saying that man gave you every reason to say, I guess this is a different black if you if you want to be racist but, about it. And I get what you're saying. <laughs> it's just certain ways, just for us being black, certain things. We ain't gonna talk to the cop. You know how you see I see white people talk to the cops like, why you pull me over? La la la. Yeah. You're crazy as a motherfucker if I even say that. Because I, I think you know, I should. My white friends say it to them. You know what's scary, man? Like, you know, if you watch the video, you know, Ryan was like, please take my shades off. I'm having a panic attack. The craziest thing about scenarios like that, you're a black man. You already see all of these different videos of, of interactions that happen with black people and the police. They come at you with your guns drawn. Immediately, you're going to have a panic attack, mm-hmm. right? Immediately, immediately, mm-hmm. you're going to start hyperventilating. Immediately, you're going to feel like you got to shit and you got to throw up. And then in the midst of having a panic attack, they want you to have a logical conversation yes. with them. Yes. And, why, and, why are you nervous? Uh, what yeah. you mean? What the, the fuck, fuck why am I nervous? nervous? Yeah. Yo, I got pulled over five o'clock in the morning in New Jersey, leaving my crib, right? Backwoods in New Jersey. It was like two weeks ago. I called my wife just to have her on, number one, to record the interaction. Mm-hmm. Number two, to comfort me. Number three, just thinking to myself, this might be the last conversation I have with somebody on this earth. That's my, that that's was my how, mindset as a black man at five o'clock in the morning wow. getting pulled over by this police officer. Mm-hmm. You know what that police officer said to me? You pull, I pulled you over because your tent is too dark. That's not true. That's number one. Illegal. Then he's like, is this your car? Yes, it's my car. Who else car would it be, sir? Uh, you know what I mean? Robbed the car. Give him my license and registration and everything else. Why do you have a South Carolina license? Because I'm lazy. Because I don't work hard <laughs> enough <laughs> to go down to the DMV. That's me. That's me. <laughs> and get and get but, a but, new but, but and get a new driver's license. He's trying to grab. He's trying. He don't even believe this is me. I'm like, he's like, what you doing around here? I'm like, mm. I live five minutes away. That's what I'm saying. Certain sir. things that you told him that either is going to and, and heighten him, like like your license and probably and heighten something. That note and heighten something because that's what you they, they heard. And then when I gave him my address, he was like, "You live, you live on." So I just like, "Yeah." I was surprised. Yeah. Yes. What kind of car were you driving? Problematic. Escalate. I'm black. But that makes that makes sense. So. <laughs> uh, you know what? I, man, I, shut I, up. Man, I, get I, a nicer I, car. <laughs> get a nicer car for the neighborhood you live a in. A 2021 Escalade. Yeah, Escalade. Come on. Yeah, okay, I'm not. You know what I mean? Let's get some. <laughs> let's get something British. Get a range. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, what are we doing down. over here? You let's know, stop playing around. I I don't even, have, I'm lying. So I don't have an Escalade. I didn't even know that. Um, is this your you car? Fooled him. You fooled him. I, I even... <laughs> <laughs> you got him. <laughs> they were on to you for a second, Sean. <laughs> I, I didn't even know. Uh, yeah. Is this yeah, your car? It wasn't an actual he's normal the... question. I, I found it out maybe years later. As really? a black dude, I thought, is this your car? Was just a normal question the police wow. ask you every time. No way. Until I realized my white friends wouldn't be asked that question. Mm, when I was in the car not. one time, I was like, wait, they didn't even ask you, is this your car? Wow. And he was like, what you mean? I was like, when we get pulled over, they're supposed to ask you, is this your car? And he was like, no, they don't. And I was yeah. just like, oh, that's crazy. I never knew that. I was young, but never knew that. So it's just like, those are the things that you constantly deal with. You're like, is this your car? You heard it, Bond. 
I feel I, I, you got to play by the rules regardless. We know we our days and don't be to miss a tough guy and don't worry, don't worry about what it is. He wasn't. But once again, that's right. No, respect <laughs> yeah. Come on. Respect I, that's why I said I, I agree with Wax in most of these scenarios. What rules did Ryan break? Yeah. I can't go in the bank and make a withdrawal out of my thing. account. If you go in there and no. say, oh, this, somebody blew the bathroom up. Remember when somebody got in trouble they blew the bathroom up? You are hyper, you're you making up hypotheticals that don't but apply to this situation. Just, it is because that, that note is a key word. It's like no, it's not. If, read the note. He didn't say no. If we're being serious, <laughs> if we're being serious, I mean, like, well, he obviously, did. He kept I, telling her to read the note. Yeah. And I, I thought, but, I mean, I thought we're joking around a little bit, but like, obviously, this has become <laughs> serious. And, uh, and, and here's the reality he did nothing wrong. He did nothing, nothing illegal. Not Absolutely sure. not. It, sure. it might have been a little bit abnormal for the woman that was at the bank, especially if he kept saying, like, just read the note. Mm -hmm. But there's nothing illegal about saying, hey, I, I would like you to read the note. All the information is on there. That probably piqued her interest a little bit. And she's like, what's going on, et cetera. But he didn't do anything illegal. And it's unfortunate yeah. that this happened. I have your debit yeah. card. I have your ID. I'm going to read the note. Yeah. And you say you read it. She, yeah. she told the 9 She didn't even tell the 9 one, one operator. What was actually in the note? She was like, the note says, withdraw $12,000. That's not what the note said. So you really didn't read the note. Read the note. He gave mm. you specific instructions on what he wanted. The only other question after that is, how do you want your money back? Mm. She probably watched a lot it. of movies. She probably watched a lot of movies, too. Well, she couldn't yeah. read that well. That was the That's what it sounded like to me. She said, I don't know this fucking word. I got to call the police. Yeah, because I only look, only, when I was supposed to read, I only read the top and the bottom. Of everything. That's okay. good. Okay, yeah. yeah. Seems like you got all the information. <laughs> the first line, the first line, the last That's line. Really smart. That's really good. They say, hi, how you doing, sir? Yeah. Like, okay, nice. And at the bottom, there ain't no curse to say, I sincerely have a great day. That's a great note. Yeah. God bless Ryan Coogler, man. Ryan Coogler did nothing wrong. The, the bank teller treated Ryan Coogler the way y'all treated Kim Kardashian. She did nothing. Whoa. They did nothing wrong. Whoa. Kim Kardashian did nothing wrong. Ryan wow. Coogler did nothing that. wrong. Okay. Wow. Free Kim. Let's pay some <laughs> <laughs> Free Kim. God forbid she goes through this type of oppression, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Let's pay some bills, man. Uh, talk space. Salute to talk space, man. Uh, whatever challenges you're facing in your mental health, whether you're struggling with low self-esteem, body image issues, anxiety, or anything else, there's no one-size-fits-all solution. And with work, school, and relationships pulling you in every direction, it can be hard to find time to focus on what you really need. That's why Talkspace Online Therapy gives you unlimited access to a licensed therapist so you can set aside time to put yourself first. Find somebody to talk to, man. Some of y'all may not feel comfortable, you know, going into a therapist's office. Talkspace might, Talkspace might be the thing for you. You know, you may not have time, okay? You're too busy working, all right? You got a bunch of different you know, occupations, you got a bunch of different businesses you run in, but you can take, you know, 30 minutes to an hour, you know, out of a out of a week to talk to somebody, yeah. you know, via talk space. All right. That's why talking to real mental health, talking to real mental health professionals is very, very important. OK, talk space has thousands of licensed therapists across dozens of specialties so you can connect with someone that's trained for just what you need. Instead of a therapist squeezing you into their busy schedule, Talkspace fits into yours. With 24-7 messaging, you can talk about what's on your mind in the moment without waiting for an appointment. You also have chat, video, or audio options for live sessions so you can get support on your own terms from any device. Your privacy is a priority, and Talkspace has encryption and added security features to keep your conversation secure. Get the one-size-fits-one support you need with Talkspace. Sign up today at Talkspace.com and get $100 off your first month with promo code IDIOTS. That's $100 off at Talkspace.com, promo code IDIOTS. Do you want to do another space, Chelsea? Yeah, yeah, let's do another Knock out one. another space. Okay, we, guys, this episode is also brought to you by Squarespace. Okay, God bless Squarespace. Today's episode would not be possible without them. Squarespace is the all-in-one platform for building your brand and growing your business online. Stand out with a beautiful website, engage with your audience, and sell anything. Your products, content you create, even your time. Okay. Squarespace makes it easy for creators to monetize their content with expertise in a way that fits their brand. With member areas, you can unlock a new revenue stream for your business and free up time your schedule by selling access to gated content like videos, online courses, or newsletters. Create pro-level pro videos effortless, effortlessly. The Squarespace Video Studio app Helps you make and share engaging videos to tell your story, grow your audience, and drive sales. Stand out in any inbox with Squarespace email campaigns. Collect email subscribers and convert them into loyal customers. Start with an email template and customize it by applying your brand ingredients like site colors and logo, okay? Built-in analytics measure the impact of everything that you send. Use those analytics and insights to grow your business 
Learn where your site visits and sales are coming from and analyze which channels are the most effective. Improve your website and build a marketing strategy based on your top keywords or most popular products and content. Head to squarespace.com slash idiot for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, use the offer code idiot to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Remember, that's squarespace.com slash idiot with the offer code idiot for 10% off your first purchase. Now let's get back to the show. All right, let's do some church announcements. Uh, this is a segment we do, Steelo, called Church Announcements, to where if you have uh, anything you want to shout out, anything we want to plug, you do it. Uh, Hezzy? Uh, yo, Infamous Tour this weekend. We're in uh, Birmingham and then New Orleans. New Orleans, pull the fuck up. Uh, we will see y'all over there. And then we got Cleveland, Pittsburgh after that. And then coming to Montreal and then New York City and Toronto. I just want to say thank you so much for pulling up to the shows, man. That was unbelievable. 10,000 of y'all coming out. And uh, it was just wow. fucking, it was unreal, bro. How many it shows did you do? We did three shows. So like, with, that's like 3,500 a piece, 3,000 a piece. Yeah, yeah, wow. yeah. It was, it was crazy, man. And big, we got Snow shit. to come out, you know, you know, Snow. And for my, and I need, I and I need, I need, I need, We had him backstage. He was like, bro, I was the first Snow, mumble rapper. Right. He's right. He really was. Snow, <laughs> think about it. Snow is absolutely pot. I still don't know what the fuck Snow was saying. I don't think he said anything. That shit is like Missy <laughs> Elliott when she said, <laughs> Ryan, we're in the ring, there. We don't know what the fuck they were saying. But dude, he was, he was incredible. His story is unbelievable. Like his... Before we get to that, he needed to tell me what the fuck he was saying in Informa. I, I, you know what I should have asked him? I can't yes. believe I didn't. <laughs> the fuck was you saying? <laughs> I, really you need to add, I put it up on Instagram where they put out the lyrics and there are lyrics for it. But like his whole story is absolutely I'm fucking I'm Googling crazy. right now. Yeah. We got to get him down here in New York. <laughs> <laughs> wax, you got church announcements? Yes, sir, man. Who is Wax? Uh, is it your local dispensary in, in, in uh, L.A.? Uh, go to whoswax.com and go get your gummies, man. We got subscriptions. Go get that. It's really dope. I should have had some more if I knew y'all, y'all was coming. CeeLo was coming. Go ahead and taste that. Um, podcast Wars, man. Um, podcast Airsoft Wars. Get your team together. 10 on 10s, man. That's coming up really soon. Next couple of months. Um, get your team together. And uh, Bully and the Beast, man, come out at us on Wednesdays. A licky boom boom down? I lick your boom boom down. That's what he's saying. Informer. You know, say daddy me snow me, I go blame. A licky boom boom down. Whoa. Had no idea. Yeah. Steelo, you got church announcements? Uh, yeah, a couple. Uh, I got a project dropping, a musical project dropping this uh, on, on St. Patty's Day. What kind of music? Uh, chill music, weed music, rap, I guess. Uh, you so rap? Uh, I rap a little bit, you know. I used to A and R, but uh, it was it was opportunity for me to jump back into music, and I was like, you know what, I'll, I'll be on the artist side this time, so I'm to see see what it is. But uh, I got Buddy on the project, Aaron Ray, Fab, um, trying to think who else. I got uh, B J Chicago Kid, De uh, Dej Loaf. Uh, so I'm excited about that. I got a new single dropping. I guess 311 with Buddy and Aaron Ray called My Love. Uh, Can we get a verse? A uh, verse from what? You. <laughs> what you mean? Get a verse. You got. You got. You got a quick eight. Like what? It was Ooh. you want? I mean, you ain't gonna you ain't gonna rock with it. I mean, it's the singer you want to it's drop it. Okay, I don't know what this is. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about this. What's that? <laughs> Did you hit the beat? I don't know. <laughs> like when you, when you be like, yo. <laughs> it's like I'm on Ellen, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Nah, uh, you want the fruit? Yeah. Uh, on this this next part, I mean the next one is uh, it's a fee for your party on the block. Snatches them bikes, scoop it slowly in the drop. Yeah, yeah, let them know come to cops, or else to pick up one of them fine ass hood thoughts. You don't understand something at the crib. Foes and my lords, I put it all on the fin. Folks in the king's ass, show you what it is. Cause we was there, was trying to get it how we live. Informer. You gotta have a hook like that, bro. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's pretty smooth. Y'all here though in a couple yeah. days. Now you ain't got Chanel West Coast on the project though. Charlemagne don't start. At least on laughing. On this, on this podcast, Chanel will body man. you, son, bro. Don't yeah. play with Chanel, bro. Don't, don't play with Chanel. Don't don't start, salute to Chanel. The... Don't play with Chanel, bro. <laughs> Chanel, <laughs> Chanel will body you. Is she son, on bro. is she on the project? Nah, she's not on the project. How dare you, bro? Nah, that's why are you up, doing bro. this? Nah, why are you doing, doing it? You nah. already came to ridiculousness and did this in the worst way possible. <laughs> and now you're going to do it again. <laughs> Salute to Chanel. I got love for yeah, Chanel, Chanel, man. Chanel got peace, bars, Chanel, bro. Chanel okay. got bars, bro. Let's do an right. intro. You scared. You scared to get on the track with Chanel. All right. Whatever y'all say. Yeah. Uh, I got, uh, <laughs> she was supposed to be on in the Super Bowl halftime show. Did you hear what happened with that? What happened? She was supposed to be one of the artists. I don't see how it didn't happen. 
How can Chanel? Who yo, wow. Get this COVID. 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 She got COVID. COVID. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's yeah. what happened. Yeah. She had the fixed vaccine card. She got, that's what oh, it was. They got her. They got her. They got her. Salute to Chanel. Rob's performing at her. Why the We podcast? That's my podcast. And then, uh, yeah. Ridiculousness still going for forever. Bless, bless. It definitely is going for forever. For for forever. forever. What would MTV man. be without ridiculousness? <laughs> Nothing, bro. <laughs> Catfish ridiculousness. Catfish ridiculous and teen mom, teen pregnant, 16 and pregnant. Are they still what doing it? the teen mom thing? All of it. All of it. Girls wow. still getting pregnant at 16. Damn, <laughs> we got content forever. <laughs> I mean, he makes it very right, though. He makes it right. It's true. I mean, why would you stop if girls? <laughs> <laughs> Um, listen, man, salute to everybody that's been uh, uh, showing up for the Finding Tamika um, original audio podcast that we dropped with Audible. Um, it's number one in, uh, man, it's number one in a bunch of categories, man. It might be number one overall right now, but it's number one in uh, autobiographies and memoirs on Audible. It's number one on politics and um, social sciences. It was number 10 overall last time I checked yesterday. So, man, just salute to everybody who's been showing up. That's the first project for me and Kevin Hart's SBH Productions. Bravo. Eric, Eric Alexander told an amazing story about uh, Tamika Houston from Spartanburg, South Carolina, you know. And, um, man, yeah, it's just a very, very, very powerful story. And I'm just happy that y'all showing up for it. So continue to, you know, support Finding Tamika on Audible, just the first of uh, many Audible projects that 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 will be dropping, man. That's that's audio is the audio, it's not even the future. Audio is the now. Mm. If you if it, audio is the now, I know a lot of people are just getting into you know different aspects of the audio scripted wave now, but you know it's it's kind of like the the oil rush a little bit, or kind of like crypto. Should have got in a little early, <laughs> you yeah. know. Even though yeah. this is our first project, we've been plotting this out for like you know three four years because we saw where the game was going. So it's 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 actually very intriguing, man. It's like back in the day when you used to. I wasn't alive then, but you hear about people listening to like Batman on the radio, uh, War of the Worlds, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah, like yeah. that's how it is listening to these, you know, audio scripted projects. I think Serial was like the first one I was Ugh, I, I was Cereal. hearing about. Serial was unbelievable. Really? Yeah. I never listened, but it... Listen. It was incredible? It was yeah. unbelievable. Yeah. On, only audible. Even like the GPS, I like when the lady talk. All right? Okay. All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank this you. This is her, man. <laughs> um, all right. Let's get into some shit you won't care about next week. Oh man. Uh damn, Nick Cannon. Nick Cannon's show got canceled. Oh boy. Breaks my heart. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think Nick got a fair shot. Six months, I don't think six months is a long enough it's not a long enough time period to determine whether a show will catch or not. Yeah. You gotta give it at least a year. Mm, I agree. I, I think a year is a good, a good. How many days a week was the every show? day? Mm, Especially in talk dates, it's tough already. So you gotta give it some time. You gotta give it some time. And I mean, he had a lot of different things against him. You know, Wendy Williams was supposed to be his leading, right? Mm. So Wendy wasn't there mm. for for a while. So he had a lot of reruns when he first started. And I mean, it's hard, you know, to come after a rerun. Like if Wendy's doing live shows and she's doing six hundred thousand. You would hope to retain at least half. a half. Yeah, you know half, what I mean? Yeah. They say Nick was doing like four hundred thousand. So it's like, eh, hey, I don't, I don't know, man. I think Nick, eh, you know, it is, it's, it's not like he's hurting for anything. No. Nick will no. be fine. I, mm. <laughs> you know, <laughs> Nick, Nick will be fine. But yeah, I just I, uh, six months. I don't think is a long enough enough time. And I feel like he had social media in a chokehold. I'm always seeing Nick Cannon clips all over yeah. Instagram and, and shit like that. making babies, so that's the thing. What do you mean? More time to spend with the fam. He's he making more babies, so it's content. They're that, really talking about that. That's a good point, though. I wonder, since daytime is, like, so female-driven, did that turn women off? I wonder. Ooh. I don't know. Yeah, me neither. I wonder. They probably want to have his baby, too. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like, I'm going to stick around to BC if I get picked next, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. What, what, what else we got? What did we think about... <laughs> 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 what do we think about Calvin Ridley of the Atlanta Falcons being suspended for the whole 2022 season for betting Bro, on that, football games? The gambling money coming in for football is so insane that mm -hmm. they got to protect the sanctity of the game. And by sanctity, I don't mean like they got to make it 
nice and, and peachy and clean, but they just got to make sure that all these people betting can trust that the outcomes are actually the outcomes. Yeah. Because they're going to make ridiculous amounts of money off of this gambling, yes. right? So Because they got like seven deals with DraftKings and FanDuel. Yeah, the the, the and, money is mm-hmm. going to be so yeah. unbelievable through gambling that you have to make it feel like those scores are accurate. And if there's one player gambling, $1,500 is so stupid. He's a fucking idiot for doing this. Especially being yeah. that he's going to lose $11 million this season. Yeah, yeah. that's crazy. Bro, it's, Over 1500 And Over he 1, knows. They crazy. all know. They're not dumb, bro. Like, they, they know. It's just, give it to your boy. If you really want to gamble that bad, give 1500 to your friends. Say, yo, you gamble this shit. And then we're fine. He wasn't even playing in the games, by the way. That's what, that's what yeah. I'm saying. He was taking a mental health break. Two things that's crazy about this situation. Number one, he's you're able to gamble on other sports if you're in the NFL. So I don't know why the NBA or whatever he, else he was betting on isn't a fix for your gambling habit, right? Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Number two, he plays for the Falcons. He bet on the Falcons to win. Mm-hmm. Anybody that bets on the Falcons to win, Come on, bro. He's been nah. concussed, man. Come on. The, the guy, <laughs> Come the guy on, plays bro. football. Come yeah, on. Yeah, but so you just said he said mental health break. Yeah. I'm saying you bet on the Falcons to win, bro. This guy yeah. isn't trying to do anything wrong. This guy has no ill intention yeah. whatsoever. Oh, yeah. He bet on his team to win yeah. the Falcons, and they were 7-10 and 10 it last like year. Playing. Yeah. I was just going to say, it's like, it's like Pete Rose. Like, if Pete Rose's whole thing was that he only would bet for the, the Reds to win. To so win. it's like, why am I being penalized if I'm just betting that I'm just doubling down on what I already believe with my team yeah. and we're oh, going to get this done. That's true. Uh, yeah, I think that was his whole thing that he would bet. He bet religiously, though. Yeah. But I think it was only on him to win the red. Yeah, he was like an insane competitor. He wasn't actually like throwing games or like point shaving anything. But, that's why I think it's got to be nuanced to this, right? If you bet, if I'm betting on my team to win, you can't accuse me of anything. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. If, if, just, I, if I bet just, on my team to lose, then, then maybe I got some inside information. Yeah, maybe I know that yeah, we're yeah, trying yeah. to throw games for a better draft pick that's or something. Issue, yeah. It just gets dicey, like right? Because like, what if you're betting on your team to win, but what if there are other things within that? Like you're betting on the fact that your team is not going to score in the third quarter, but they're still going to win. And then you're doing mm. everything that you can. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. there's certain things. And yeah. I think they just make this blanket statement because the NFL is going, yo, we're going to make so much bread off of these gam- off of the gambling sites, giving us a little piece of every, uh, I guess, I think they get a little piece of everything that's gambled on football. I mean, they got I deals. It's like works. sponsorships. Yeah. Right. Yeah. right. So right. they got right. they got deals with FanDuel, <laughs> DraftKings. It's like seven. They got like seven different sponsorships with gambling right. platforms. Yeah. So it's just, I don't know. It's just weird. I think the safer thing is just don't allow it at all. And The safer I mean, thing is not any... to gamble if you're in the NFL, but I'm going to tell you something. I think they want to give 11 million. Say what? 11 million? Yeah. 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 I don't think I'm they want to give him that 11 million. That's what they did. What was the parlay? He did like a multiple sport parlay, right? I don't even know what that I don't means. Even, I don't bet. I don't, I don't gamble. I'm not a gambler. I just either. knew 1500 for 11 million is not a good deal. That don't even make no yeah. sense. Yeah. yeah, it was a bad deal. Nah. A but parlay I'll, is you basically combine multiple bets. So you're like, okay, this team's going to win the tip off and this team is going to win mm-hmm. the game but cover the spread Points. and this team over yeah. here is But it's win. almost hard not to gamble if it's right there on your phone. Shit. If you're if it's on your phone and you're already a gambler and you're on FanDuel or DraftKings for NBA and you see the NFL, you might place a couple bets. It's not really nothing you're really thinking about. And honestly, I'll be real with you. Uh, so you haven't been for, this whole time? You've been sitting there? <laughs> <laughs> for, my, like, for, me, <laughs> for, me growing, <laughs> for me growing up, it's like it's promoted so much more now. You Like if you're on socials, like you got bleach report, yeah. you're a bleacher yeah. bed. And, yeah. and like I'll see comments of kids being like, oh, shit. The Taylor fucking gang. I see comments of kids being like, why are y'all promoting for us nonstop to become gambler? My little cousin came and interned with me this past year, 24 came in. He was gambling every day. I was like, yo, fam, what you be doing? He's like, I've been gambling, I've been doing these parlays. I'm like, parlays. I'm like, I'm like why? Mm. Like, well, stock I'm trying market, to make a little money. Stock market gambling, you think? Huh? Is stock market gambling? Hell yeah. Yeah, somewhat. But I also look at these dudes. I'm like, if these, like, the athletes, if you've already been raising them on this for the past six years and you're a young athlete, you're going to probably already be doing that. Yeah. What's wrong with your cousin doing it, though? Because he's an athlete? No, no, he just had no money. That's why he gambled because he know, got money. Problem, <laughs> you know what else with this Calvin Ridley thing too? I don't think this happens to uh, a superstar. And now, even though Calvin Ridley is a marquee player for the Falcons, this doesn't happen to a superstar face of the league. This Patrick Mahomes, he don't get suspended for a year for this. He don't. He don't. I agree. He don't. And and, and no, you can't. Aaron Rodgers didn't have, have the vaccine. That's right. right. You don't. That's right. <laughs> yeah. That's right. Oh, that's Aaron right. Didn't have the you, that's right. You don't got to look no farther than the Aaron Rodgers situation. Aaron Rodgers <laughs> lied about being vaccinated and had to pay a fine of fourteen grand. Antonio Brown gets three games. 
Mm. I, I, I know they got Crazy. rules. It's a little different. Why? One is faking a vax card, which is a federal felony. Mm-hmm. The other is saying that he was immunized. Yeah. So he lied. He, no, but he spoke. No, to, he didn't lie. He used lawyer language to get out of it. He but, never immunized and vaccinated ain't the same thing, is it? Naturally immunized or something like that. Nah, it's bullshit. And yeah, also, bullshit. you talk, he, he, to me, his was worse because he put actual media and everybody else into harm's way. That's right. He he spoke at, at press conferences. Yes, they he both talk, did. Yeah, they. Um, yeah, they both did. Yeah, they I, both guess. Did. I don't know if AB it's was doing as many press fe- conferences, it's, though. It's just a federal felony to do the vax card, right? Like, you could serve time for it. So you could say AB got off light and, and uh, what's it called? Aaron was... Aaron was misleading and he was being douchey and fucking annoying about it. They both it. lied about their vaccination status. Yeah. The yes. Facts. So and, and one got fined fourteen hundred, one got three games. So if the if the if there's You understand that there is like a, a difference between like faking identification and just lying about Not in the NFL, it's not. Oh, Same I thing. thought the punishment was based on the faking of the identification. They just both lied about their vaccinations. Oh, well then, like then in the that, real world. Then yes. That's incredibly unfair. Yeah, I'm just talking about the legal but, in, in the in real, real world. world. Yeah, yeah, But he yeah. didn't even, they, did he present it to them? He may have, but I know his chef was the one who snitched on him. Aaron Rodgers, right? No, no, no. no Antonio Brown, yeah, 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 yeah. But for me, Aaron Rodgers really lied to everybody. Mm. The chef just told on me, I ain't say shit. I just showed him my vax card. I'm good. I'm moving around. Like everybody else, you know, in New York, you can go to any bodega and get one for $100. Yeah, so it's like, yeah, everybody yeah, yeah. everybody moving on on the fake vaxxers for forever. Yeah, you're, you're right. There is, there is obviously privilege to being like a superstar. Yes. Superstar. And they're not AB doing was a superstar. Like if maybe if it was earlier in his career than no he white quarterbacks though superstar white quarterback yeah that's the difference sure, sure. yeah yeah but yeah Patrick yeah. Mahomes I, I, Patrick Mahomes though yeah, would probably yeah. they wouldn't do that to Mahomes yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they would they wouldn't do that to Mahomes yeah, like I, there's no I, way I, I think it's just I forgot they've never been Mahomes for a whole year for this interesting no. Yeah, never yeah, no 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 yeah, now yeah, if they if they want if they thought that it was uh, okay to pay you that eleven million dollars they know that he's gonna be able to play that out I think they would have kept him there but they was like I don't want to pay him that eleven million dollars he home anyway for. The, his fucking ooh, mental health. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Maybe that is interesting. Maybe yeah. they're looking for a reason not to pay him that eleven million. Yeah. He's taking this mental health leap. Well, who suspended him? No, was you... it the league or his team? I think it was the league. Yeah, but maybe the team goes, "Hey, oh, we course. heard mm. this guy is gambling. If he was gambling before and they're winning games and he's actually performing, they're not giving a fuck. Yeah. But once he's not going to play mm. because he's taking, taking this mental health leap, they're back. like, "Nah, fam, you're not going to be gambling as well." But that wasn't going to go into next year, was it? Well, he only took the mental health leap for some games. He took, yeah, mental, health, he took the mental health last year. Yeah, last year. Last so why year, he took about, the mental health. Maybe year. they just didn't want to pay him. Maybe because yeah. listen, teams do dirty shit. Like remember when they didn't want to pay o- Odell Beckham Jr. and all of a sudden this video popped up of him being around a girl snorting coke. Like if you don't think I've never that that seen was that. you didn't you didn't see that <laughs> the girl was <laughs> doing coke the girl was the girl was doing the coke the girl was uh, doing but like this video just happened to come out in a contract here yeah. it's like these these organizations are grimy they do nah, this all the time like politicians and yeah. not really come up about you or tell you about the run yeah nah they are the way. they are I, I, yeah I just well listen here's gonna be the thing um we're gonna see in the future what's gonna happen because I guarantee you it's gonna be some superstar that gets caught. And this same gambling thing made a five dollar bet on DraftKings or FanDuel or something, and he's not going to receive the same punishment that Calvin Ridley did. We'll so see. Are you saying Calvin Ridley he should step up his play? Yeah, I think so. Is clearly, that, he's a good player, yeah, yeah. but he should be better, and then he could receive the preferential mm-hmm. treatment. I mean, clearly, he's a marquee player because he's getting eleven million dollars last year. He's a marquee player for I mean, the, that. Is good yeah, money. Yeah, yeah, I'm just saying. So, so you can be a marquee player for the Falcons. But when you're a face of the league, yeah. Patrick Mahomes is an ambassador for the, I mean, all NFL players are ambassadors for the league. But when you see Patrick Mahomes, you that's the face of the NFL, it, you, you right? You it's just gambling? Because I know and Michael Jordan used to gamble all the time in basketball. Is it just gambling or gambling for that sport? So I, think for the sport. Sport. I think it's for the yeah, sport. I think it's for your sport. You can't gamble on the, te- the league that you play in and gamble yeah. and bet on your Bet on your actual team. Can you bet on games, other games? Or you ain't got nothing to do with them. You like, can nah, I you can't do game? no NFL bet. Oh, really? I guess other the sports assumption though. is you have some kind of like insider knowledge. Yeah. Like you went to college with some of these guys, so you I know guess. Blah Blah's foot is hurt. Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Um, Lindsey Graham faced backlash for calling for the assassination of Putin. I mean, what are we? Are we at war? Or are we not at war? Like, I hate yeah. how <laughs> you know what I'm saying. Like, I hate how polite motherfuckers get with this shit. Like. <laughs> <laughs> Are people dying or they not dying? If if, if we go to war, then take out the head dude. Yeah, duh. What's up then? Like, where's this? Why, why do we have more respect for Putin's life than we do for the Ukrainians? That are getting killed. Or even yeah. the Russian soldiers getting killed. Like, we seem to be okay with them killing you each other. You know that's not right. So don't yeah. His life's no different. Yeah, go out and do it then. Do it yourself, Lindsay. 
Yeah, he's <laughs> do it yourself. Yeah, do it yourself, That's where it's That's where it's Pull stop. it up. Go ahead, yeah, Lady like, G. Let's go. <laughs> uh, I was say, like, hey, this, I don't know. I mean, war listen, man, real world war, shit. war is war. I'll tell you why statements like this don't bother me because if there is this kind of sense of urgency, because I would assume somebody like Senator Graham has a lot more intel than we do, right? Mm -hmm. If there's this kind of oh, sense shit. of urgency where he's saying that, man, somebody needs to go take this guy out yeah. for the good of the world. Nah, he's just he's just trying to galvanize his base and he wants to rob, rob, rob war motherfuckers. Guys. But his know? base is his base love Putin. No, nah, they don't. They loved him. That for shit a... just flipped last year. He had like a, a higher approval rating amongst Republicans than Biden did. Yeah, because he didn't go to war. No, because he fucking helped him win the election. Yeah, yeah, maybe. <laughs> he helped him win the election. Yeah, yeah, maybe. Putin had a higher approval rating just last year than Biden did. Yeah, people like strong in leaders. In the Republican man. Party. People yeah, like yeah. strong leaders. But on I don't know, man. Some, I read something in the New York Times that said he um he might be dealing with some uh some health issues. Oh, yeah, he's scared of COVID. That's no, why, no, no. They said he got like <laughs> Parkinson's or because some of shit. the health issues. Apparently, he's terrified of COVID. That's why you ever seen him oh. in the in the pictures. Oh. He's like he's like Beauty and the Beast away from people in the chair and like the tables. Beauty and the Beast. Beauty and the Beast. You know when they're eating dinner. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Like oh, I didn't it's know super far away. Like yeah. he's never around yeah. people. I saw that picture recently. Yeah, yeah, it was yeah. crazy. Yeah, he's terrified of. It's like eight people on the end of the table. It's just him on the other end. By All the other. Yeah. But that's scary though. That's scary to have that kind of power. And feel like you know the walls are closing in on you. Mm. Yeah, for sure. And you just you like type fuck of, it anyway. That's right. You yeah. like fuck it. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna do everything I've no always pussy. wanted to do. Yeah. No, I never liked America anyway. Yeah. yeah. You know for what sure. I mean? Yeah. yeah. Once your dick can't work no more, like nobody gives a fuck about life anyway. It's over. You think? If he can't you be around his, his wife, I'm just saying. If he can't be around his wife, he can't get no pussy. Nah. He can't even eat next to nobody. He got. He got. No, I think he's still. Nah, he got a woman. Yeah. Yeah, I think he got a line. At least he's equal her. At least. Yeah. I just. I read something. He had his girlfriend and one of his, uh, two of his kids tucked away somewhere. Yeah. 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 But it, yeah, the war thing is interesting because everything gets a lot more simple. Like you realize how much, I don't know, you realize how much stuff that like we've built on top of peace. Like we can care about everybody's uh, insecurities. We can care about everybody's discomfort when we live in peacetime. Like we can make sure that it, <laughs> there's a perfect bathroom for every different person. And mm. all these things is peacetime shit. Ain't no like uh, gender neutral bathrooms in a bunker in the Ukraine when you underground getting bombed, right? Nobody's yeah. trying to figure that shit. And that's that's the real world and that's the history of the world. Yeah, the I don't know how many things have, built, have been built on peace though. Say again? I don't know how many things have been built on peace. What I'm talking about is like uh, the, the the pleasantries that we want to make sure that everybody has. Yeah, yeah, these, yeah, these yeah, are yeah, yeah. Of, like, like, like while we might be at peace, but there's people dying over these things. Yeah. Dying. Somebody got to die. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that that I'm just saying, right. we, no, we might right. be at peace. That's the American perspective. That's the American perspective. Yeah. But there's people literally dying yeah. over these oh, things wait, every which, day. Which things? Just so we're on just the same anything. page. Anything gas, that we have. All of oil. It. Oil. Oh, yeah, like, yeah. Like, we want low gas prices. But somebody yeah, got to yeah. die over that. Right? No, no, no. I, the point I was trying to make is like, we take we take for granted the fact that we're not at war, right? Yes. So when we're not at war, we can think about things and we can go, how can we how can we structure society to make it equitable for everyone? How can mm -hmm. we remove your inconveniences, right? Mm -hmm. Like, for example, like, you know, girls, you shouldn't be harassed when you walk into work. You shouldn't have a guy go like smile mm -hmm. or have a nice day. That being said, if you're a woman in the Ukraine right now, you would die for a motherfucker to say smile when you're walking down the street because you're really trying to avoid shelling from yes. these Russian tanks, right? So it's like life Life comes at you in so many different ways and it gives you perspective when you're actually at war. Like, what is real inconvenience? All Being in a bunker, that's real inconvenience. It is. Yeah, yeah all perspectives are different. You know, I, I I totally understand what you're saying. I don't, I don't, you know, I'm not going to diminish anything anybody might feel like is an inconvenience. Because what you just talked about, even a woman walking down the street, like women been getting harassed since they hit puberty. No, That's no. an inconvenience for them. What, you what know I'm what I mean? What I'm trying to say is like, I'm I'm looking I'm not going like you should be grateful for what you have. I'm going, hey, how awesome is it the life we live? Oh yeah. And let 100%. us never lose perspective that like we can focus on that that's a problem for us. That like sexual harassment is a problem for us that we really want to solve. That's mm. awesome. Yeah, I'm gonna tell you something, no shows. And I agree with you, but I'm gonna tell you something. Me and Duval talk about this all the time. America gonna feel it. Mm. We feeling it right now. No, it's gonna be it's, it's uh, everything that we see in these other countries. Like that you said that we 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 take for granted the creature comforts. Yeah. We're gonna be at the end of that movie uh, that don't look up. <laughs> Leonardo DiCaprio looks at the table and goes, God "We damn. really had it all." Yeah, we? we did. <laughs> like, well, America's also done a lot to 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 feel it. You know what I'm saying? Ultimately, like when I look at all of this, it has been just mind blowing. 
of uh, how much white people care about each other. Uh, yeah. It's been crazy to me just to watch like what's going on in Ukraine, and I see everybody on socials have, hey, I'm raising this amount of money, mm-hmm. and it, it is. I'm like, America does this to countries all the time. We have never raised money once for other people. It is just crazy to me to watch the world move in such a unison of being like, we have to stick so together. Funny. And I'm like, where is this when the other world, other parts of the world are suffering? That's so and funny we're doing that, that you see it like this. I see it the opposite. I see it like the word f- world finding out like whiteness. All whites don't matter. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? Like, like I, I see it, I see it like as like, I think most people just go, oh, yeah, all white people just kind of see themselves as the same. And now it's just like, well, it's not totally the same. Like, there's levels to this white shit. And yeah, if you Russia, was an army, Ukraine, they don't take care of you. They look white, but they're not getting white treatment. Yeah, this is what Putin yeah. said. Putin's like, he feels like he wants to denazify the country. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, that's what he said. He's, I feel like, oh, he said, I'm denazifying Ukraine. It's drug addicts in Ukraine. Like, he's talking about the Ukrainians the way Trump talked about Mexicans. Mm-hmm. Like, seriously. Yeah. I mean, he's taking a page out of our book. Now he's doing the, the biological weapons. He's doing the weapons of mass destruction shit. He's mm-hmm. like, yo, they're... Yes! Yeah. He was like, yo, they got nukes. They gave up their nukes in nah, the nah, 90s. No, no, bio weapons. I thought he said nukes. No, nah, no, nah, it was bio, bio weapons. weapons. And the American I thought he said bio nuclear weapons, though. Yeah, maybe, maybe it's possible. I always yeah. thought it was like... But yeah, I mean, this is just like... This is a page right out of America's book. That's how we got into Iraq. That's mm-hmm. the funniest shit when people yeah. say, why would he invade a country for no reason? How is he making up the fact <laughs> that they have weapons? Why would he do that? Welcome. Man, we did that. Um, Welcome to America. <laughs> have you ever heard of Iraq? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know I mean, I mean, that's not why he's doing it, right? It's like he's doing it because Ukraine is very important border. I don't and, know why he's doing it. I'm not even going to say anything like that. See, I was yeah. going to say anything. I don't really know. I've like I have really no looked idea. into it. I've been like, but there's no real reason of why he's moved at this time or done it. I think no, it is no, a border no, for no. sure. Yeah. Like if you look at like if you just bring up a map, Taylor, if you just bring up a map of that region, basically if if Russia controls the, the Ukraine and before they did, they had like a puppet government in there. Now we have a puppet government in there. Like, you know, I, I know this guy Zelensky is, is doing some absolutely heroic stuff, 100 percent. But he's supported by the West and he mm-hmm. was propped up there by the West. And then before that, there was a guy that was propped up by Russia. And Russia is OK with these satellite states as long as they do their bidding. Mm-hmm. The reality of the world is it's like there's not that many independent countries. There are countries that their policy is based on the biggest, most powerful country around them, just like in America. It's like once you divert from our foreign policy, you have some struggles. I thought they were mad. I thought they didn't want Ukraine to be independent. And I thought they, they didn't. don't want Ukraine to be independent. Yeah. So if you pull over a little bit more over there so we can actually see. Oh. Get uh, try to do a map where you could see the country we're talking about. Yeah. And then uh, so so basically was like there's a piece of land. There's a patch of land. Russia, for the most part, if it controls Ukraine, is protected by like mountain ranges. Right. But there is a patch of land that you can access Russia and actually the Ukraine through Europe. Yeah. And as long as they control the Ukraine and their foreign policy. There's a very small patch of land that European forces could enter Russia from. But he's not stopping at Ukraine, though. Say again? They're talking about he wants Poland. Like, he's not going to... Well, yeah, this is all to protect the Russian landmass, right? Now, as long as these countries, like Belarus, for example, is is an independent country, Mm -hmm. but they're doing whatever Russia says to do, so all of a sudden they're fine. Are any of these countries actually a threat to Russia? Get down, lay down. No, it's it's not about them. So the whole war is like a proxy war, right? So... Russia doesn't want NATO, which is basically Western influence Mm -hmm. in their on their quote unquote borders. Mm -hmm. But what they're really trying to do is protect a land border so that if there was a war Mm -hmm. where troops had to invade Russia, there would only be a very small patch of land where they could invade them through. Right. And if that's the case, you can defend this massive patch of land, which is Russia. By having very small amount of forces because they only have to defend this land. You're not going to go over the fucking mountains. Well, correct me yeah. if I'm wrong. Didn't you, the Ukraine turn down being a part of NATO? They they had to. That was the agreement initially. Yeah. It's like, hey, we're going to give up our nukes. You are going to not fuck with us at all. But y'all have to protect us. Protect in case we're us. also yeah. not going to join NATO. Yeah. And then, of course, NATO wants to continue expanding and we want to continue. So that should let Russia know, in. like, at least, well, you know, Ukraine is not trying to click up with NATO. But we were clicking up with NATO. Yeah. And we were doing it. And we installed a gov- uh, government or not a government, but a, a leader who was more sympathetic to NATO causes. And now we they just appeal to be part of the European Union. And yeah. that's really what this war is all about. And so Russia doesn't want to allow that expansion. And they allow these tiny little states that can exist there. But if you 
If you just went mm-hmm. to Google Maps and types in, type in Russia and then zoomed out, you can kind of look at it. But Listen, uh, I, I, everything you're saying sounds great. I don't. I have no idea. I still mm-hmm. think that they just being a not so sexy decoy for China. China's the wild card in all of this. Bro. Well, I think well, if well, I'm China, I let things keep going as usual, right? Because yeah. it's like if if yeah. I'm China, you could you could make the argument that China's kind of operating the way that U.S. was operating before World War or like around World War II. U.S. and World War II was like, I'm going to let these motherfuckers fight it out. And they then I'm going to come in and be the hero. They get yeah. broke. I come in at the end. That's right. Boom, scoop yeah. it all up. Now all these motherfuckers are broke. They were. They got to rebuild right. all their countries. We didn't got to rebuild shit. That's World War II was yeah. far over there. I, I so think, if I'm China, I'm going, y'all fight this shit out. When y'all are broke, hungry, poor, I'll come I'm in. I'll be the new guy. I think China empowered it. If I, I think the Russia-China alliance, yeah. I think that you think that they didn't have conversations and China's like, you know what, Russia? Go try this out. Yeah. If y'all get away with this, way. we going other into way. Taiwan. Other way. Other way. Mm-hmm. Trade other way. For trade. Yeah, stop right there. I, I'm interested to see if China uh, invades uh, Taiwan and if they do, if the people react the same way. It's That's ba- what it, I am interested it's in. It's based on how <laughs> oh, this yeah. is. Then, uh, no one's going to no say the same thing. Chris, where you at, Chris? Zoom back. Zoom back out, hun. Zoom back out. You can keep up. What's up? Yeah, there you go. Is Chris there, Alex? He is here. What's up? Come on. What's your take? I'm nervous. Um, (laughs) You know, I got an 80 year old mother in law who swears she's going to pick up a gun and they're going to fight block to block, street to street. I think that'll be what happens. In Taiwan? Yeah. Wow. Mm. Wow. Mm. I hope it doesn't happen, but it's it's not looking good. What do you think of Schultz's take? I actually just got reconnected, so I didn't hear it. What's the Oh, go ahead, Schultz. Uh, they're, they're just trying to control landmass, and there's a very small landmass that Russia has to defend as long as the uh, the countries that, quote-unquote, should be uh, allies with Russia uh, maintain, like, Russia's uh, beliefs and uh, political affiliations. So, like, if you look at it, I'm just going to go up to the TV real quick. It's probably oh, I like this. Like, this is dope. This is like some goddamn... Kitty to the board. This is like the weatherman. Yeah, yeah, weatherman. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> to the board. To the board, Schultz. These three countries. Right here, right? Estonia, Latvia, Lithuania. They they do not necessarily side. Come on, you got to get on the mic. We got come. It, it, oh. What? Oh yeah. So those three countries don't necessarily side with Moscow. Actually, Uthania, you, EU countries. Who'd you say? Uthania. Uh, Estonia, Latvia, Lithuania. Okay. Right. But Russia doesn't give a fuck because if you notice, Russia's land also includes this. Okay. Okay. So it doesn't matter what's going on here because they're protected. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. I think that place is called like Kaliningrad or some shit. I'm not exactly sure. Belarus, part of Russia. Ukraine supposed to be part of Russia. The only way that the rest of Europe can, uh, if they have to on land, uh, invade Russia is through, I believe, this patch right here. Okay? There's a mountain range that protects over here, if I'm not mistaken. Obviously, Black Sea, they could also come in. Oh, obviously, Black Sea, they could also come in. So what they're doing is, it's like a game of risk. They're trying to make. They're trying to make sure that the only place they could be invaded was through this small area right here. But here's the thing, Schultz. I, I, why would they want to? If, if they control all this area, if they don't control Ukraine, look at forces can go right up. The but why would anybody all of a sudden want to invade Russia? Where did this come from? Like, since when did Europeans decide they want to invade Russia? I hey, know diplomacy operates at a at a glacial pace, my when, friend. When? Like, is that a thing, Chris? I haven't heard it. I mean, the the only thing I could imagine is. Russia's sitting on a lot of gas, and we see how how valuable gas is, right? Oh, now. got you. Russia is... Well, Russia, the, the gas is only valuable now because they cut off the Russian True. supply. Gas is, yeah. gas is always valuable. Yeah. Gas yeah. is always valuable. But if like, they never put the sanctions on Russia, we wouldn't be in this situation. No, because ga- gas is always valuable, and also, like, if you look at Russia, it's just natural resources, right? It's massive land. Just so much fucking land you can't even imagine. And there's no rules. There's no, like, EPA. Yeah. You can just yank whatever you want out of the ground. You can pollute whatever the fuck you want. So it's like they understand where they play in this game. They're like, natural resources, that's it, and that's what we do. And their access to Europe is through Ukraine. So all those pipelines and all that kind of stuff, if you want to get their shit to Europe, it's got to go through Ukraine. But nobody has tried to go over there to Russia as a fascist country, and it's also like they're a strong-ass military. Who's trying to actually Nobody's attack trying, Russia? But what, what happened to them? Especially is in the, Europe. Yeah, it's like it's yeah. going to come from one of the other, but the what, U.S. or China or somebody. It's yeah, not going to come from go. Ukraine. No, no, but what happens is if you have that landmass, it's yeah. way easier to attack Russia, one. And two, it's way harder for them to defend. So now they're going to have to defend triple the landmass that they would have to before. Well, why would you fuck with Russia is yeah. my point. Like, like, why would you? Why would any of those smaller European countries fuck with Russia when they can just drop a nuke? Well, everybody can drop nukes, right? So, yeah. so the way not you Ukraine. It, they, yeah, that's right. They, they, not Ukraine. Ukraine asking for hands. Not in Europe. Not in Europe. Not in Europe. Nobody can just drop a nuke. Maybe Germany. 
But, yeah, no, I think they're European countries' nukes for sure. I don't, mm. I, I don't know. I just, I, I don't, I don't know. I just, I, I just think it's something bigger going on that we don't know. And I just wanted, I feel like China's Europe the wild card. Europe wants to expand, right? Europe wants to expand, right? And they would like to expand into the former USSR or the former Soviet Union, right? The Soviet. Now there's all these countries. That I thought exist. Russia wanted to reform the Soviet exactly. Union. Exactly. Oh. So now you have these two converging ideologies. So this is Europe going, hey, we want to bring more of these countries into NATO, and Russia going. Actually, not only do we not want that to happen, we want to get back to the Soviet Union. We want to get back to USSR. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah. So if you see NATO continue to advance, Russia is going to view that as an actual threat. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. yeah. Far, when so NATO Russia advanced, insecure. Hell yeah, they're insecure, it. as they should be. <laughs> yeah. I mean, they're a global player because of natural gas and all that kind of stuff. But in terms of, like, GDP, they're not. Do they make this move without the China alliance? Apparently, China told them wait until after the Olympics. They did. That's what I heard. Yeah, they did. I read that. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. Not yeah. really. It's how bosses talk. What the fuck you mean? Yeah. Wait till after the goddamn This is crazy Olympics. that we heard it. This is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Social media. Yeah, that's crazy that we hear this shit. Social media, man. <laughs> Chris, what do you think, Chris? Hot take. Final hot take. Um, I don't know what, I mean, did you guys discuss the theory that basically Putin has a chronic disease? Yes. Probably Parkinson. Yeah. Yeah. Or, Nobody has any value in that. Yeah, I bought I that can't up. Figure it out. I can't figure out what the motivation is. Yeah, I don't. Mm -hmm. I, I don't see. That's why I think he's some type of decoy, man. That's the main reason I think he's some type of decoy. Now, can you make sense of this stuff if you sit down? Yes, he's giving us a bunch of different reasons, but if those are those actually the reasons? I don't know. Who knows? I don't know. You know what fucked me up today? I was reading about the uh, the, the children's hospital that they say the Russian military blew oh, up, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. And Nancy Pelosi gave a statement on it. But then Russia was like, that's fake news. We did not blow up a children's hospital. We took over a children's hospital. Charlemagne. And we took over but a Russia bill. always we, says everything's fake news, right? But, but, but some of this Charlemagne. shit is fake, Charlemagne. though. Charlemagne. Charlemagne. When war starts, truth dies. That's a famous quote. Yes. I don't know who said it. And that's on both sides. That's right. Right now, the you sexy... You should take credit for that. Don't no, 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 no. no. <laughs> if you can't remember the, who said it, it's a show quote. Yeah, there it is, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who <laughs> said <laughs> it. It was Mark Twain. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, Will Smith. But it's like, so, so everything right now is complete fake news on both sides. Like, all the Ukrainian stories that we're hearing, like the Ghost of Kiev, you heard about the that was a pilot. video game. So, if everything, so but no, you, you know that was a video. That was an actual video game. Oh, the footage that they used. The was footage from the was from game. a video game. That shit wasn't even real. You're talking about the fighter pilot from Ukraine yeah. that shot down six Russian jets. Of course, but it right was a now, fucking video game. You just want to win the PR war, right? And if it makes you feel good, it continues. It stays, and that's the same thing happened in Russia. The same thing happened over here, and the same thing happening. And I'm sure uh, what's going in the Ukraine. So it's like you have to be very. You have to be very delicate with the things that you digest from the war because yes. naturally we gravitate towards the thing that make us feel good. I love that Ghost of Kiev story. I want to be that motherfucker. Like, mm -hmm. I get into a, uh, you know, a, you a jet and defend it's my a video city. Game. Like, you can buy the video game. <laughs> 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 they told me the, the name of the game. We'll but the funny shit duty. about that, you know what's so funny about that? And everything Andrew is saying is true. It's hilarious to me when you're debating with people and they say things like, Nancy Pelosi said this and this and that. Oh, now you want to believe the government? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't believe in nothing these motherfuckers nothing. Say. nothing. I'm not believing Russia. I'm not believing America. I'm just listening to both sides. America said this happened. Russia said it's fake news. I don't know who's telling the truth. I'm Gas not over there. Gas prices up. That's all we need to know. Gas prices are up. And then, yeah, that's right. And then they say, but there's video. That don't mean that that video is actually that scenario. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, it's like the ghost of Russia shit. That was from a video game demo. That shit was yeah. not real. So yes, they might show you a video of a building getting blown up and people being carried out. We don't know if that's going on in the Ukraine right now. We don't know. I'm not saying it's not. I we just don't know. We know who we want to win and we probably support all the things that show that they're doing a good job and they're killing it. And I know who I want to win. Who? America. Yes. Get these goddamn gas prices down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay? Well, that's, that's, fuck. The that's the fucked up thing if you think about it. Like, like Saudi Arabia said that they're not going to start, um, they're not going to, what is it called? I don't know. Dr then it's not more drilling of gas. What is it called? Extracting more gas? I they're think not going to pump more gas. I don't know what the term is, but basically How gas. make gas? Yank it out of the earth. Yeah. Oh, but, that's, what it, that's what it does? Yeah. So basically Saudi Arabia said they see that the, you know, gas prices are the highest they've ever been is $150 about. And like then Saudi Arabia. Increased production. The increased production. Thank you. So it's like, and Saudi Arabia exists because we allow them to exist. 
Like, don't get it fucking twisted. Like, <laughs> you're there to give us fucking gas, bitch. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, so if Here we say turn that shit on, <laughs> if we no say turn that fucking shit on, <laughs> no, because that shit got me tight. It's like we're giving them up. fucking weapons, we're giving them support. The only reason they exist <sighs> is because we protect them so that they can't exist. And then we're out here going, yo, we might need you to, uh, you know, uh, what is it called? What is it called it again? Gas. Uh, increased production of gas. Increased yeah. production of gas because we're hurting over here. And the only reason that you haven't been invaded by every one of your fucking neighbors is because we make sure you're not invaded by every one of your fucking neighbors. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you're not going to print any more gas? I'm tired. I'm tired. Increased of, production? I'm tired. Come of, on now, yo. I think I'm tired of America. That shit got me tight. I think you I'm, are there because of our kindness. Yes, but I think I'm tired of America being the world's police. <laughs> Great. Say what? I'm yeah, tired of too. America being the world's Well, let us see the too. world's I use the too. gas, people. By the way, that's what, you know, that's one thing that Trump was saying. That's why Trump wanted to take America out of NATO, which I don't agree with, because that, that definitely would have been a green light to Russia. But mm. he wanted, he just wanted the Europeans to pay more. Yeah. He wanted the Europeans no, to pay no, a bigger more, share. Their fair share. Their fair share, yeah. Pay what you're supposed to pay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. And they wasn't even doing that. To another point. Now, about, all of a sudden, they're going to think it's important to pay. Now, when wars pop off, they're like, maybe we should give 2% uh, of our GDP to protect ourselves. Because like, now you see it's real. I was sitting back uh, thinking about, um, I was like, damn, okay, so they're cutting off, you know, Biden signed the executive order to cut off Russia's, um, to cut off the oil coming in from Russia, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm like, okay, now somebody's about to get paid because somebody got to provide the oil. Yep, for sure. Chris, I remember you telling me this a while ago. Was it Venezuela? Venezuela. Venezuela and Iran are the two countries that stand up. Yeah, Iran, the now, country we've been beefing with like crazy. All of a sudden, that's the homies. But wasn't there some type of beef with Venezuela too? Hell yeah, but now we it's all good. Their whole government because they wasn't fucking with us, and they just let they let two prisoners go because now they know about, they about to make some cash off America. Of course, of course. This that is, shit is this wild. is the game. This nah, is the this real shit is game. big business, baby. But this is what nobody oh, wants baby. to acknowledge when we sit here and we bicker with each it's other about, money. about bullshit. This oh, is the bread. game. Yes, it's about you're business. seeing the real yeah. game right now, that's and right. everybody's watching exactly how it goes now. We are talking to Iran. Remember the whole thing when we were just beefing with Iran for the last fucking twenty years? Yeah. All of a sudden, now we best friends because we're buying yeah. oil. Of course. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's all charade. That's why these politicians, I don't trust none of them what they say. Because when the shit gets real, they're on their knees sucking dick from oil from all these Excuse motherfuckers that they was talking shit about. What mm -hmm. if there's oil in those dicks? But that's what the fuck they doing. <laughs> Get down your knees. Yeah. Start sucking. <laughs> whoa, oh, man. whoa. Yes. God damn. It's, yes. funny. it's funny when it's a guy. It was. <laughs> <laughs> that's, the, hey, that's the game, bro. Uh, the that's the game. Sure. They got to do it. They got to do it. That's your job. Oh, oh, you God. work for the people, right? What do the people need? Oil. Suck it listen, up. Suck you know, it up. Listen. Yo, talk about, about y'all, 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 y'all probably listening to Andrew and like, damn, that sounds fucked up, but it's, you are, whether you call it that or kissing ass. Yeah. That is a politician's job. Sucking dick. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yes. It's a That's their job, yo. It's a reason they say you got to go shake all so the hands, kiss all the babies. Yeah, yeah, you got to yeah, go yeah. be cool with people that. That's what they call it. That's what being di di diplomatic is. Yeah. yeah. Got to go be cool with people who you weren't necessarily cool mm -hmm. with. You know, you might have to make some peace with your enemies mm -hmm. because now we're in a fucked up position. Yeah. Yes. You think that they thought in a million years they'd have to put sanctions on Russia again? Again. Mm -hmm. You no. think? Do you think that anybody thought that after the Cold War and World War II they would ever have to do this again? Nah. Now they got to go find other oil supplies. That's why it was so easy to give people like Venezuela your middle finger. I don't need y'all. But guess what? Oh, now, now we, we need do, huh? you. Now, now we need okay. you. Bro, now things are cool. That's right. Yeah. That's it. We know what the fuck this shit is, bro. I get it. All right. Let's do some um, asking idiots, man. And, and, and get the fuck up out of here. I get all charged up on this shit, man. I love it. I do it's love funny. it, too. I love, I love it, too. it. I love, I love it. I love, I, love, I, love, I, love, I love hearing shows talk politics. I really all do. all phonies, dude. Why the fuck you ain't did Mar yet, bro? Say again? Why you ain't did Bill Mar yet? I don't know. We got to make that happen. Shows need to be on Bill Mar. Uh, what we got? Y'all seen the Batman? No, I have not seen the Batman. I, I, I don't, I don't seen support it, I've been DC. Mad don't want, support DC? No. Batman is Batman. I'm a Marvel guy. Nah, Batman is Batman. Batman is yeah, you can watch Batman. Yeah, you can you watch know why I'm sick of Batman? Why? Because they keep telling us over and over how the fuck he became Batman. Don't you think we know it at this point? Do I really need to know the whole backstory and his well, parents getting killed? Man, yeah. Why you they keep telling say that. us this shit over and over? If you're a Marvel fan, you can't say that because they do the same Uncle thing. Ben, no, no, they don't. Yeah, they'll yeah. Spider-Man you up. To, no, they to, don't. You can't Spider-Man yeah. no more. No, and they Orange don't. Time, no, Spider -Man. they don't. Uncle Ben. Yeah. No, they don't. Listen, Spider-Man is on his third movie, right? And this, we good on that. We don't need no more. Bat they keep trying to sell us this Batman shit over and over. They should have left it alone in the Dark Knight. The Dark Knight was the cream of the crop. Well, There's nothing after that trilogy they yeah, can but do. You need to, this is incredible. You need to humble them. 
because the character is unlikable. Batman? Uh, yeah, like, if you, if he doesn't have a fucked up origin story, he's just some rich dude that got all the technology and just beats up poor people. Yeah. I bet you in that poor movie. Poor mentally unstable people. Poor right. mentally unstable people. That's I, what he does. I, I like he's even, an orphan. His parents York. got shot right in front of him. Then it's like, oh, Nobody okay. feels sorry. You don't feel sorry for him. He's a billionaire. He is a billionaire. They don't feel sorry bit. for a billionaire. This era uh, don't feel sorry for nothing that happened to a billionaire. Yeah, yeah that's Ever. true. That's true. They don't give a fuck that your parents got killed. Yeah. They want to hear both sides. They saw the Joker. Wow. So, not, yo, they yo, saw yo, the Joker yo, and yo. they feel like he deserved it now. I don't want to spoil the movie, but you hear both sides. Mm. Really? Mm. Yeah. I heard some you can tell me because I ain't going to give a fuck. Hey, hey, you hear both sides. Really? We saw the Joker though. We know the no, other no, side. No, 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 Charlotte. no, 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 no. This one, this one goes. No, 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 no. It's great. No. It's great. Yeah, it's really you hear both sides, really bro. Really? Yeah, Batman was fucking the wife. The Joker wife. What do you mean when you say you hear both sides? You hear what? Man, there's a lot of fake news uh-huh. out there, bro. Uh-huh. <laughs> Man, there's a lot of fake now news you're trying out to come there. Now you're trying so it was to a murder. It. it was a murder suicide. You don't know what Bruce's it is. Bruce's daddy killed the mom. You don't know what it is until you watch the movie, bro. I'm um, well. Something happened. When that shit come on one of these screaming services, I'll go see it. There's no way in hell I'm going to a movie theater to see a DC film. Ever. Thanks. I like DC villain films. Joker was fire. Harley Quinn was fire. All that other shit. No. Mm-hmm. No. Okay. Uh, what we got? Give us some uh, Asking Idiots. Oh, this is a good one. Taco Slayer. Yo, you remember when uh, fucking... Weren't all the pilots that took down the fucking uh, Twin Towers from uh, Saudi Arabia? Chris, weren't they from Saudi Arabia? They were from the Middle East. Uh, I think the majority of them, yeah. They were, right? And remember when we just kind of let that shit slide? Remember that shit? And now they're not going to fucking increase oil production? Sons of bitches. Andrew's back. Take that oil for our damn They cells. let Saudi Arabia slide? Yeah, they let them fucking slide. You could sue Saudi Arabia as like a private citizen, I think. Don't, correct me if I'm wrong, Chris, like on some civil suit, right? Yeah, I mean, look, there are... They, they and Israel are our closest allies in the Middle East, and I guess the idea is that's worth more than their involvement in 9-11. But, you know, U.S. doesn't want to mess with that relationship for whatever reason. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Tell the boys. Tell the boys it's time. Stop fucking around with this diplomacy. You know what I mean? So where, but, but where are you going to get your oil from then? Dicks! No, we go the in there! Is, we go in there and it's <laughs> our oil now. <laughs> no, the answer is we got to wean ourselves off of oil. I mean, nah, nah, no, that, no, 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 that is the answer. No, no, that. that is the answer. Yeah. The, Elon Musk is about to be the man and, and then yeah, they're going to take that. him out hey. in 10 years. If they, you got to wean yourselves off oil. We hey, got, we, we need new, natu- we need new, new resources. Yeah, Absolutely. We, need, we need some new resources, but until then, we're going to need some oil. Yeah. And if they keep acting up, then, you know, it's going to have to be a... Uh, we thirty years be behind in new, with new shit. We thirty years behind with new energy resources, bro. Huh? We thirty years behind with new energy right, resources. So in the meantime, turn on the fucking nozzle. Turn the <laughs> nozzle, bro. Hey, it's that, that simple, bro. Turn on the nozzle. Are we gonna t- get all these Instagram no. thoughts have been over there while you shit on tables and then looking at them? That's whatever, Dubai. Bro, gonna, same place. Come on, bro. Yeah. It is. It, on the, they come on, to Dubai bro. Come on, bro. Come on. They go to Dubai to have that you shit happen, bro. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but not Saudi. Yo, Saudis. Yeah, I don't it's, want it's no. Wild, hey, right? Yo, yo, yeah, Saudis. It's wild, right? Yo, Saudis. Yeah, it's wild, right? Yo, Saudis. That's all shows who want yeah, that smoke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know nothing about y'all. It is. It is. I don't know anything about y'all. My geopolitics stops at Canada. Let me tell you something. We're looking. We're looking for I don't excuse. Know nothing you talking we're about. looking for excuse. If hey, we're looking, hey, we're looking for an excuse. Who's we? Yo, <laughs> this is real. <laughs> America. Is this is America. Is gone. That's American Andrew. Andrew. I am America. <laughs> show. <laughs> what was the name I'm of the special? Like, this is nah, America. Bro, bro. This? Oh, Schultz this is Andrew Schultz saves America. I'm gonna save America. I'm taking Saudi Arabia. <laughs> I don't know nothing about nothing he's talking about. My geopolitics stops at Canada and Florida. Shout out to Canada. They got to turn on the spigots, too. <laughs> he wanted it all. Turn it up. Turn it up, bro. We get 50% of our foreign oil from Canada. Turn yeah. it on. I don't know. Turn it on. Andrew Schultz. Turn it on. the epitome <laughs> I look out for listen, my listen, people, listen. bro. Andrew if the American Schultz. people are hurting at the pump, your boy going to start talking. Andrew Schultz is the epitome <laughs> of American arrogance. Yeah. Hmm. Turn it on. And what's going to happen to America one day is just like when Thanos' daughter turned to Thanos and said they didn't even see it coming. And Thanos took off his helmet and said, the arrogant never do. Yeah. America got something coming to it. I don't know what it is, but it's just inevitable. COVID. We'll survive it. But it's coming. What do you mean by that? 
<laughs> he don't, don't worry tell about him. it. What you do you mean by that? Because I'm be don't, honest. Don't you worry about you it. You could get it too. <laughs> <laughs> you sounded. You sounded like this. You sounded right real traitorous right now. I'm just saying. Can it. <laughs> I can send the boys over. Oh, you got pulled over in your little Cadillac. That's gonna be every day. That's gonna be every day. <laughs> That's what we saw. Is this your car? That's Is this your car every day? day. Every single day. Hey, imagine imagine this your country. Listen, imagine, this your country. imagine how Benedict Arnold will get talked to. In this area, bro. Yo, Yo, what is you saying? Hey, listen, we got to check who's on our side, who's not. I got to look out for the American people, bro. Every day, pulling up to the pump, bro. That gas got to be under, hey, hey, none of this under $4. Gas going back to a dollar, bro. I'm down. If I see a two, remember those days? If I see a two, that's a problem. Invasions. Invasion. Hey, Saudi way, Arabia, it's up to you. Do you about, want to be your about, own country or not? You know that's how that's how they think, though. Of course. That's how big call, politicians keep calling think. Us they. They. Keep calling us dead. Keep calling us dead. Keep calling us dead. I'm respecting you. Pronouns is done. The pronouns is done. Do you know what I'm saying? And so my pronouns is we or y'all. If you identify, <laughs> don't you listen. It's we or y'all. Do you, do you not identify? Right. You, that you identify as a patriot. That's it. So you're a they. <laughs> no, 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 yep. no, 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 yep. no, my friend. You I'm a we. No, no, it's we. It's we it's or us. y'all. We us, us or it's them. We are it's <laughs> us and them. That's what it is. Okay? So they, them and they are the ops. Them and they got the they oil. they want smoke. Right? And we want oil. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. That's it. And it might happen. Oh, man. Turn it up. Turn the nozzle. Listen, Turn the nozzle. They well, don't know. They're going to learn. I did want to ask y'all about what they learn. Are y'all familiar with the Full Sin podcast? The what? The full sin. Of course. I never heard of the full sin podcast yeah, they had yesterday. Trump That's why I heard about it. But I yeah. but then I went down a rabbit hole. They get a lot of good guests and shit. Yo. Oh, they've been killed. So the full sin got the Nelk Boys. You've heard you never heard of the Nelk Boys? No. Oh, they're like a big um big YouTube channel. I see. But I'm like, I, I want to know more about them. Yeah, I mean like massive doing pranks and that kind of stuff. Like got some funny ass videos. What was their background? See, I, I respect people like that because that's how podcasts yeah. were, and then right? They started doing a podcast. But that's what I'm saying. People who you didn't know before, open up the microphone, before podcasts were real celebrity driven is what I'm saying. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where they, these guys are celebrities. They're the, they were before They're the this. biggest thing on YouTube. Okay, okay, yeah. okay. So it's like, or maybe Mr. Beast is the biggest thing, but they're one of the biggest things on YouTube. Got and you. like, massive tons of views, they start the podcast and they're able to, you know, leverage their relationships to all these people that yeah. are incredibly famous and get them on podcasts. You don't often have like a Trump, or you don't have a Dana White. You At don't all. Have these people, mm -hmm. you know, doing it. So they've been doing some, uh, some interesting videos. I was watching a little bit of the, uh, I watched a little bit of the Trump one. I haven't seen it yet. I'm going to watch it today yeah. though. All right, we'll salute to the Full Sin Podcast. But yeah. All right. Uh, Taco Slayer says, do you guys think you could beat Putin in a fight? Well, if the Parkinson's is true. And then also, he, is he 5'7"? I don't know how tall Poo. I, I thought nah, Poo nah. was like 6'4 the whole five, time. Seven, he be shooting, he be five, shooting five, up seven, the bro. whole time. I thought he was 6'4. Well, you also thought Stephen like, Graham was, was a lawyer. Five, seven. You <laughs> did. You did. You took me down. <laughs> 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 yes, yes. I'll beat the shit out of him. Yes, yes. I'll drag Poo. He's 5'7. I'll drag Poo. You know who also could get beat up is the guy in Saudi Arabia that's not turning on the oil. I'm down with that too. Nah, Poo. I, don't I think... got a truck and I ain't got time for this shit. Bro, Putin like, fights bears, bro. Right Say what? Putin fights that's bears. Khabib, nah, that's, that's true, cool. yeah. That's Khabib, bro. That's, that's different. in Russia if you ask yeah. us. Yeah, <laughs> news. Bro, I seen the picture of Putin fighting the bear, bro. No, they that's brought Khabib. That in for the photo yeah. Which, yeah. Who's Khabib? The hey, UFC fighter who really be fighting bears. Yeah. He grew up fighting bears. Yeah. Let me they see, bro. He fighting bears. Yeah. yeah. His name is Khabib Nurmagomedov. Yo, back. Putin wrestles with bears, bro. Nah, it's, it, bro. it's the one K eight. He wrestles with them, then he rides them. Nah, you 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 believe that? <laughs> he what? turns them into his you fucking horses. What? Yeah. Yeah. He yeah. turns bear into horses, bro. Yeah. That's a crazy picture, bro. Yeah, you're you need to stop believing everything. Uh, all right, <laughs> look at Putin. Nah, that's definitely not Putin. That's Khabib right there. Not if I put it on Instagram and say it's Putin. That's true. <laughs> if, I put that, <laughs> if I put that that's video on Instagram shit. and say Putin that's wrestling shit. with bears, they are gonna say it's Putin. I, but that's a nice bear. That bear wanted to fucking destroy this guy. He'd beat the yeah, exactly. Out. Yeah. It's, he had no chance with that brown bear, especially. Maybe a black bear you might get away from. That brown, crazy as hell. That's a small bear. That's not a big bear. A puppy. But even them puppies are strong as fuck. They are. Oh, wow. Man, we got five minutes of them fighting bears. That's crazy. Yeah, you ain't bro. fucking with Putin, bro. Man, get the fuck out. Look at Putin. Out. Putin handling that bear, bro. Bro. All right, come on. Let's go to another question. 
We've already started a geopolitical war here on the Brilliant Idiots. Yes, no, a, it's very simple, There's bro. a Saudi Arabian podcast that used to be fans of the Brilliant Idiots. Now they want smoke. <laughs> They're going to get a lot of smoke if they don't start turning <laughs> on them fucking oil uh, producers. What do they call that? Uh, Increase oil production. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, Tell. I don't like none of these questions. Oh, I like this. Baiku art. Is battle rap bullying are still in art form? Shout out to my guy, Pat Stay, man. Do you know who Pat Stay is? No. He is a battle rapper, and he is hilarious. Hmm. And his battle raps are are kind of like comedy roasts. Like, I've seen some of the battle rap shit, and it's like, it's just like wild personal and like yeah. just dark yeah. and fucked up, and I'm going to kill you, and I found out about your mom didn't love you and all that kind of shit. His shit is, is like roast but funny, and sometimes you'll see the dude that he's rapping against yeah. start to break yeah. and laugh, yeah. and I'm like, Oh, this is a really interesting way of doing this because it removes like any sort of like potential violent. You thing. know why you're there? Say what? So you know why you're there? Yeah, it's like, hey, we're going at who could be kind of funnier and who could roast the other one better. Like, if you were roasting some dude, and, you know, you on a bus, like, it's not. I'm gonna say the meanest thing. It's like, how do I get everybody around here laughing? Don't you yeah, my, my mama be all right. Exactly. But here's the thing: the reason yeah. I like this question, and I and I, I we can end on this question. The reason I like this question is because I think. It's an art form. The reason I think it's an art form is because you know what you signed up for. But I also think comedy is an art form. Yeah, the bullying can be an art form. Martial arts, like mm -hmm. a lot of <laughs> things that are art forms, they've turned to bullying. Yeah, is what I'm saying. How you use if it. If you're a comedian yeah. and you're on a stage and you're roasting somebody in the front row, if you're a battle rapper and you're, your battle rappers are super violent, right? So if I talk about shooting you 20 times, I don't really mean it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It just sounds good when you rhyme 40 with shorty and yeah. the cow make you, you know. But certain things that be said, you be like, fam, I don't know how you come back from yeah, that. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. They'll bring up people's kids sometimes and you yeah. be like, fam, what is even going on up here? Yeah. That's what I'm are saying. Because I'm that, styling though. on you. <laughs> right, but what if a boxer, a boxer is signed up to get punched in the face? Yeah. Well, they're going to actually way, do it. That's yeah. a, by the way, that's another great example. Yeah. So when they have these press conferences, when they sell in the fight, mm -hmm. and they tell each other, SM, suck my D, yeah. and Ooh. F your kids and all this and that, do they really mean it? Or are they just yeah. selling the fight? Fam, fam. There is a thing. So there's Mike a fighter Tyson. named Colby Covington who just beat uh, Jorge Masvidal this past mm -hmm. weekend, right? And he's trying to uh, promote a fight, or he would like to do a fight with Dustin Poirier. You guys know Dustin Poirier? Yeah. Great fighter as well. And... I thought he was retired. Oh, no, I'm thinking uh, about no, Daniel. No, no. Never mind. And basically what happened is Colby said, uh, he goes, now Dustin has a wife and Connor alleged that Dustin, Connor McGregor alleged that Dustin Poirier's wife DM'd him. Mm. Right? They also have a kid together named Parker. <laughs> now, now, Parker. now Colby Covington said, hey, Dustin, get that Jezebel of a wife of yours and Connor's kid, Parker, implying that Dustin's wife, Dustin's kid is not his kid, but actually Conor McGregor's <laughs> kid on down to Las Vegas and let's have this fight. That is like wildly personal and trolling, she, even for really the fight game, fam. But she, did she really this, is his... fighting. this is a fight game. Like This is like, I watch nah. boxing, you watch boxing, say, oh, take it home, type though. of shit, wow shit. Mm. So for me, I don't know if I care as much. In but your kid, though? But like, bro, I'm did she really do it, though? I grew That's up on hip-hop culture. Nobody addressing her. Nobody asking her. Does she DM if she really did him, it might hurt. If she didn't, it's like, ah, right, you There's a screen. It don't matter. I grew up on hip-hop culture. I grew up on Tupac saying, you know what I'm saying? That's why I fucked you, you fat motherfucker. Yeah. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I don't know why you're able to say it right now because he really did it. He fucked, he fucked his wife. He I don't know if he did or not. He did, though. No, yeah. she said, she said it know. didn't happen. You're right. You're right. You, you oh, know. she said it never happened? Yeah, she said it didn't happen. What did they do? We grew up with, with, <laughs> with Nas saying he left, con with, with Jay-Z saying he left condoms. <laughs> And on on Nas's baby, baby mama's baby, baby seat, baby. like, yeah, yeah, yeah. well, I don't know if he left that, but but maybe they had sex. Maybe, I mean, I don't I don't, I'm, I don't know. I'm just saying, like, yeah. that's like yeah, regular. Man. You're you're trying to get yeah. into somebody's but, head, right? But, but and and then that, people died. Clown, people though? died because of that. People did die. But is that yeah. being a clown? <laughs> so maybe it's too far. 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 That's what we're trying to say. Maybe they went too far. Exactly. Yeah. I think Tupac was too thorough for that to be able to say, "I fuck your wife" and then do it. Like, that's kind of corny. I don't know. Mm. I don't know. All I'm saying is I've heard worse things is what I'm saying. Yeah, but, and then mm. worse things happened. I'm just saying, like, bringing, like, kids into that shit. Like, this is different, though, because you know the context of a fight. I'm yeah. fighting you. I'm trying to get in your yeah, head. Trying, I'm trying to fuck you up. Yeah. And by the way, you said they're trying to, they're trying to get the fight made, right? Yeah. So yeah. I'm trying to force you to fight me. Yeah. Yeah. I want to force anyway, you to fight me. I'm going yeah. to force you to sign this contract by saying the wildest shit so you sign this motherfucking contract and get in, bring also your ass in this ring. And also, it's kind of like a good deal when you think <laughs> about it. Because it's like, 
how much would somebody have to pay me in order to insult my child and allow me to beat them up for it? Because it's not like That's you don't great. also get to fight the no, man who the way, says some shit about yeah, you. But you got to win that fight. You got if that man insults your child and then you get in that ring fight. and get knocked out, now, you get the now I'm your daddy. You now I'm them. your daddy. Yeah. Okay. You, and, and your girl has to smash <laughs> me because she already in my DMs. <laughs> So that's why wow. UFC don't pay enough though. You're right. Because yeah. for me, Alex Mike Tyson yourself. them fighting this they get paid seven million dollars. <laughs> Kobe don't get what a mil? I don't know exactly how much they get. Like maybe five hundred a mil or something like that. Yeah, versus yeah. like, oh, I'm taking home forty million dollars. I might be okay with you saying a whole bunch of crazy for shit. Million, knowing right? that I got forty M's on the way. Yeah. But if I'm out here fighting for UFC and I'm getting seventy you know thousand dollars. Would give seven, you their wife yeah. for forty million. <laughs> They might uh, give you that wife for forty million. Imagine Fuck what kind of DM. and imagine what kind of imagine what kind of <laughs> wax so crazy. Wax, so, wax quick to give away a wife. Yeah. <laughs> imagine. I, I just met her. I just told you something I didn't want to say, but I was like, that's probably you, wax. Yeah. <laughs> give away your wife for forty million. Yes, you would. Yes, you would. <laughs> Imagine the fight that he caused in the house, though. Because oh. you got to go ask your girl, did you DM? Ouch. Oh boy, you know Ouch. what I'm saying? She already unsent it. Yeah, but she definitely unsent. But you got to ask. No, he said he had a screenshot. You gotta ask. That could be fake. But he's not gonna leave his wife over a DM. Who would do Shit. that? Yeah, nah. Who would do that? Crazy. Who would ever leave their wife over a nah, DM or because you somebody like her? You'd have to be homosexual, I think, to do that. Really? Oh, yeah, maybe. Because you don't really want to be with women it, anyway, right? Yeah, you don't yeah, want to be yeah, with women yeah, at yeah, all. Yeah, so yeah, you'd yeah. be looking for a convenient excuse yeah, 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 to leave yeah, yeah, over something. I agree, I agree. I agree, I agree, I agree. That's wild behavior. Like, why would you do that? Real talk. Like, that's silly. 100%. Come on, come on. Yeah, yeah. All right. Um, Stilo, <laughs> thank you for joining us, my brother. Thank you for having me, man, for real, for real. Um, what's your Instagrams and Twitters and all that? Uh, it's all Stilo Brim across the board. Make sure you go buy that collaboration album with him and Chanel West Coast. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. What's it called? It comes out on when? Yeah, yeah. Colorado Excursions, 317. You know what I'm saying? About, St. Uh, Patrick's Day. That's right. And that's dope that you got Chanel on Asia. Chanel's not on my she project. Irish, right? Shout out to Chanel. She's, she's from Colorado. She's actually Russian. She's from Colorado. She's actually Russian. Russian, but she's not on my project. Who's Chanel? Yeah. What? It's dope. I said she's Russian. Oh, she's Russian? Yeah, yeah. Oh, you should put her you, laugh you, on your intro. That'd be dope. Don't tell people that at a time like this. You really trying to get Chanel fucked up? That's fucked what? up. Yeah. <laughs> That's fucked up, yo. Chanel, yeah. I fuck with you, yo. Yeah. I fuck with you too, Chanel. Tell your, tell your cousins to give us some more gas. So what? What? <laughs> As always, if you listen to this podcast, you think we're smart, you think we're intelligent, you think we're brilliant, you're absolutely right. But if you think we're just a couple of idiots who don't know shit, you're right too. It's the Brilliant Idiots Podcast. Thank you for listening. 